In 2016, Western Michigan went undefeated in the regular season, but didn't get a chance to make the playoffs. But with the new expanded playoff, the Broncos are looking to do what no MAC team has done before, win a national championship. And if we don't complete that, along with the rest of the goals on screen, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. Western Michigan in the MAC run a spread offense, the 4 5 defense, a 76 overall cost the board, a one and a half star program. Definitely gonna be one of the tougher rebuilds I've done. Gonna take over as Dustin Sullivan. As you can see, haven't done much since this 2016 season. Most we've won is eight games. Our goal is to win a national championship. Taking a look at the roster, our best player are a couple of senior offensive linemen between Jacob Gideon, right guard Addison West, Jack Sherwin, the right tackle. We have a lot of guys we're gonna have to replace. We do have a lot of skill position guys though. Wide receiver Kenneth Womack, running back Jalen Buckley, quarterback Hayden Wool, tight end Chris Tudley, and running back. Zahir Abdul Salim. We got a lot of offensive weapons. Defensively, our leader is Junior Bilal Cohn. This is a guy that he's hopefully he's gonna be here next year. We're gonna have someone that's gonna come back, which is gonna be huge. Obviously, at quarterback Hayden Wolf is a senior. We do have a freshman in Brock Lowry who might be the guy, but we might look to go to the transfer portal or recruit this position in the offseason. At running back, we have sophomore Jalen Buckley. He's gonna be here for at least another year. We're gonna be fine here. Wide receiver Kenneth Womack is a senior. We're also gonna be losing Anthony Sambucci. Junior Devon Mortimer might be a guy, but outside of that, we really don't have anything at wide receiver. We're gonna have to get some good wide receivers. And then tight end, Chris Tudelay is a senior, so he's going to be gone. Junior Blake Bosma might be a guy, but outside of that, we don't really have much. This is another position we're going to have to recruit pretty heavily. At center, Jacob Gideon is a senior. We got nothing on this roster I feel comfortable with. We have to find a replacement. Right guard, same thing. Addison West is a senior. I don't feel comfortable with Chad Schuster. We got to find someone. Same thing with right tackle. We have Jack Sherwin, another senior, and Ted Cushy. He's buns. I don't trust Jack Parker. We got to find someone. At corner, Bilal Cohn is only a junior. He's going to be back. We also have Aaron Wofford. Would be nice to get someone else in here, but we should be fine at corner for a little bit. We have some other guys that can develop. After doing some red shirts, let's finish our recruiting board. We are Western Michigan, so we're going to go after a lot of three stars. We're going after two fullbacks in Desmond Abbott and Antonio Heath. Defensive tackle, Jamie Lafoto. Left tackle, Roland Denson. Middle linebacker, David Torrance. Right guard, JT Cadella to replace Addison West. Strong safety, Jerron Barnes. Free safety, Mafu Lambo. Right tackle, Ontario Stiller to replace Jack Sherwin. If not him, Sidney Glizzy. Or excuse me, if not him, Sidney Gizzy. Two athletes in Grant Goldstein and Kareem Cantu. Quarterback in Lester Vickerson. This is the guy that can replace Hayden Wolf. Corner in David Ogbania. A left that engaged Nicholson. A left tackle. Tackle and Earl Marshall, right outside linebacker and Addison Roper, a corner in Ernest Lobato, a strong safety in Larry Doss, another quarterback in Monty Canty, just in case, another corner in George Money, left outside linebacker in Victor Kalue, free safety in Lorenzo Lewis, a right guard in Emmanuel Branham, a left outside linebacker in Jason Lawton, a middle linebacker in Kelvin Lynch, another middle linebacker in Chuck Sermon, a corner in Sean Thorne, a left guard in Owen Kane, an athlete in Jesse Caps, left end in Ari Wood, a corner in Manuel Delgado, a left guard in Greg Brents, a right outside linebacker in Jalen Springer, a corner in Travion Sahara. So we're going after all three stars, but I think we can get a bunch of these guys. Let's take a look at the schedule in year one. We start the year at Wisconsin and then at number two, Ohio State. That is going to be a brutal start to our season. And then after that, we play FCS Southeast. This is supposed to be Bethune Cookman. Obviously, they're not in the game. We have a bye, and then we go to Marshall for our final on conference game. And then it's MAC play, right? Ball State, Akron, at Buffalo, hoping it's Kent State, our second bye. And then it's NIU at Bowling Green at Central Michigan and at home versus Eastern Michigan. So we have a lot of rivalry games here, especially to end the season. One of our goals is to have a winning record versus our rivals. So these final two games at Central and then versus Eastern, those are going to be huge. Our championship contender moves up to a C. Our program tradition falls to a D. Our brand exposure jumps up to a C. We actually went into Wisconsin and won that game. Mason Nelson, two sacks, two TFLs, and four tackles. Junior defensive tackle, MAC defensive player of the week. What a game. What a start to our season. I did not expect that at all. Wow. Our offense put up 40 points. Holy smokes. We're at the point we can start scheduling visits. We're going to put some people on the visit against NIU, and we're going to switch to these hard sells for Jamie LaFoto. We're going to do that for the recruits, but we're going to start getting some big recruits if we can start winning games like that. And you know what? I'm feeling frisky. We're going to hop into this game at Ohio State. This is going to be a tough one, but I think we might be able to pull the upset off. Hold on to it, get the first. Hayden Wolf played was playing well. If we can punch this in, we can take an early lead here in Columbus. We're gonna take an early lead in Columbus. This might be a game we have to score every time down the field. This is so tough. Von Wall, we're gonna get a stop here. I gotta, I, I can't be trying to hit stick. I just gotta wrap up. This might be a time of possession game. I might have to app state these boys. Yeah, okay, this is not gonna be fun. Third and seven, just need a first down here. Hold on to it, there we go! We're giving Ohio State all they can handle right now. Got it! Let's go! Tie game, playing okay. Fumble, no, no! That was the play we didn't want to happen. That is so brutal. Dude, oh my God, they scored in one play? Oh my God, you gotta hold on to that ball. Got it. No! We got some points out of that drive, but Damn, that would have been nice to tie the game that way. Third and six defense. We got to get a stop. Get there! Donald Willis! Will his dick fit in your mouth? Dude, God damn it, we got a fucking 
Oh my god! Offense, bro. We just can't have turnovers. We need to hold no field goal. Great job, defense. This is a pass. Oh no. No! Dude! Oh! Dude, that is so my fault. I should not have made that play call. Third and four. Dude. Like, got it. Get out of there! Let's go! Let's go! Gotta get a huge stop here, boys. Dude, get the fuck out of here, bro. This dude is not this fast. There's a reason he's not in the NFL. Dude, they are not this quick. They just aren't. They just objectively are not this fucking fast. Travion Harrison is a bowling ball. Fat fuck is not a speed back. Hold. Give me a hold. Give me a hold. Yeah, Tubby. Yeah. Dude, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Dude, what? Dude, this dude's trying to fucking, he's trying to, what is he trying to do, bro? Yes! Give it to me! I blocked it! I blocked it! Let's go! Get up field! Get out of there! Get out of there! Let's go! We have three. We're up one. Why did we go for? Oh my god. We didn't get the two-winger version. So they we can't it, nothing. Great job, defense. Dude, my fucking toes, I am curling them. I'm so locked in. I was about to fucking say, bro, there's no fucking way he gets that ball. Great job, Aaron. Give me that! Let's go! Spin move! Let's go! We are one first down away from upsetting Ohio State. We haven't brought the jet touch pass out once this game. If we can get it to the wide side, I might have a chance. Dude, who are you blocking them? Six! That's fine. Fourth and four. Drilled it. Okay. We're gonna go up four. They have to score a touchdown. And they have no timeouts left. Come on, Robertson. Give me that! Let's go! We're gonna take down Ohio State! Get out of there, Roberson! Let's go! Oh my god! I cannot believe we just pulled that off. What an upset. The Western Michigan Broncos come into Columbus and take down Ohio State. I did not expect to win this game. Oh my god. Hayden Wolf, almost 300 yards through the air, three touchdowns. Wow. We don't want to see this, man. We don't want to see no damn Ohio State highlights. The Broncos! They're riding! <laughs> I don't know what noise a horse makes. I think they neigh, but I don't know how to neigh. Our championship contender moved up to a C plus with that win. Love to see that. Tate Halleck, a pick and four tackles. The MAC defense player of the week. Five tackles and a pick. We needed all of it from Halleck. Wow. 2-0. Wow. I just can't believe we won that game. With that win over Bethlehem Cookman, we move up to a B minus in championship contender. We'd love to see that. Taking a look at the injury report at the bye week, Jalen Buckley has a partial ACL tear. He's up for the next almost two months, seven weeks. It's going to be tough to win games without him. We do have Zaheer Abdus Salim, so we're going to be fine in the short term. Obviously, an injury to him would be brutal. After that, we have Jamal Haley, Trey Hartwell, Keenan Crothers in a case of emergency as the fullback. We'll move him over to running back. At fullback, we really don't have anybody. Obviously, besides him, we have tight ends as Blake Bozma and Caden Morris. Chris Tootle we never moved there, but Blake Bosma, Brandon Wooten. I mean, we got a, we're really thin at running back. I don't really like anybody outside of the hero Abdus Salim. So hopefully he comes back soon. We got our first commit of the video in three star middle linebacker David Torrance. Love to see that. I want to get some more linebacker depth. So that's a great start. We get another commit in three star fullback Desmond Abbott. Three star defensive tackle Jamie LaFodu. Just continuing to build up our recruiting class. Love to see it. We do lose to Marshall. So our championship contender falls to a C. Plus. Don't love to see that, but we really didn't expect to win the MAC or championship this year. This is going to be a, a longer rebuild. We get another three star right guard in JD Cadella. This is a guy that can replace Addison West on the line. We take down Ball State on the road and our championship contender moves back up to a B minus. Love to see that. We get three star strong safety Deron Barnes. Just continuing to add to our recruiting class. We're doing great. And even though we beat Akron, Ontario Steelers commits to Northwestern, so we're going to take him off our board. We are going to add Shaq Bober to our board. We didn't have a center on the board. Jacob Gideon's gone. If we can get in on him, I think that'd be huge for us. Get another fullback in three star Antonio Heath. Can't have too many good fullbacks. I don't know who we just beat, but we moved to six and one. Our championship contender moves up to a B. We love to see that. We get another free safety in three star Mafu Lambo. Love the name. That's an elite name. We do lose a game. We fall to six and two our championship contender is b minus after that loss to kent state grant goldstein commits to temple so we're gonna take him off our board we are gonna add three star tight end by palele we're gonna be losing chris toodle so we gotta get someone here also after that loss to kent state we're gonna take david Ogbani off our board he commits to middle tennessee state that's a shame we are gonna add santiago quasia he's a right outside linebacker we need more depth at linebacker so this could be a huge get for us we get a three-star halfback in kareem kanju this is huge obviously we have an injury to jalen buckley so we need more halfback depth we're gonna take three-star earl marshall off our board he commits to wake forest and add 
Jackson Roper can miss to Toledo, so that stinks. We're going to add another wide receiver in Ryan Fong. We really only have Kenneth Womack, and he's gone, so after this season, we're going to be really low at depth here. We are going to also add tight end Alex Kilroy. We can't have too many skill positions, and right now, again, after Chris Tootle, we don't have a good tight end on the roster, so we really need to find someone going into next season. We get three-star right tackle Sidney Gizzy, just continuing to get more replacements for someone like Jack Shore. We needed that. After the win against NIU, we actually moved to 7-2. and two. Championship contenders up to a B. We love to see that. Even after we win against Northern Illinois, Roland Denson can miss to Central Michigan. We don't want him, so he can get the hell out of our board. I know we're late on the board. We're going to go after Ben Ridley. He could be the number one player in our class. He just appeared because of our championship contender. If we can keep up our winning ways, I think we have a way to get a chance to get him. We get three-star quarterback Lester Vickerson. This could be the guy to replace Hayden Wolf. We love to see that. Jamari Roberson, one pick, six tackles. Mac defensive player of the week against Bowling Green. Let's take a look at that game. Eight tackles and interception, and he had a forced fumble. We beat them by three. We needed everything from Roberson. Nice job. Gage Nicholson commits to Texas A&M, so we're going to take him off our board. We are going to add Gage Grossman to our board. We need a center. We're going after some other guys, but we want to add more insurance. We get three-star tight end Val Palele, right off that linebacker, Santiago Quasia, wide receiver Ryan Fong, tight end Alex Kilroy, just continuing to add to our class. We love to see it. We're going to be taking on number 25 Indiana in the Detroit Bowl. I didn't even know there's a bowl. I've never heard of that before. We do have 10 coach points, so we're going to spend this on recruiting. We don't have much recruiting stuff. We want to be able to recruit guys at a higher level. So look at the Heisman winner. I don't anticipate we had a Heisman finalist. Goes to Jackson Arnold. Don't really know how I feel about that. Colorado's a top 10 team. There's no way Shitter Sanders doesn't win Heisman. Just objectively. Let's take a look at early national signing day. We went and got Desmond Abbott, Antonio Heath, Jamie Lafoto, David Torrance, Ve Palele, Santiago Quasio, JT Cadella, D Darren Barnes, Mafu Lambo, Sidney Gizzi, Ryan Fong, Alex Kilroy, Kareem Cantu, and Lester Vickerson. We signed a massive class. Tyson Lee against Indiana. Two tackles, three TFLs. Mac Defense Player of the Week. Decided to sim that game. Hayden Wolf, 390 with four touchdowns. Mac Offense Player of the Week. Wow. We did lose, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at the game, though. 49 to 43. Three tackles for Tyson. Yeah, wow. Hayden Wolf had a great game. Kind of stinks. End of the season on a loss, but 9 of 4 is nothing to scoff at in our first year. After that season, we moved to a two and a half star program. Our pro potential goes up to a B minus. Coach Prestige falls to a B. Athletic facilities fall to a C minus. I don't really understand how any of that happened. We just went on a tear of a season. Players leaving. This could be huge. Nobody decides to leave. We are obviously going to lose Hayden Wolf to graduation. Uh, Jack Sherwin, Addison West, Kenneth Womack's going to get drafted, as well as Jacob Gideon. We love to see that. I'm glad that nobody's leaving. Love to see that. Got another 10 coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. We want increased starting interest from guys. Just want to keep loading these up. We're going to go after a massive transfer class. We're going after Gavin Garcia, the running back from Kent State. This is a guy that torched us in the regular season. We know how good he is. Another right guard, Matt Pajuste. We played Buffalo and we really could get by him at all. Free safety going after Benjamin Perry from Louisville. He's a guy that coming right away. Right outside linebacker, Brian McCoy from Akron. He wreaked havoc against us earlier this season. Gem of the class, though, is right guard Tarantayo. Absolute stud. He would come in and be our best offensive lineman right away. And middle linebacker, Nolan Ziegler. Absolute monster at Mike. We need it. Some other guys left tackle. He's coming from number 25 Central Michigan. This is a team that beat us. I simmed our rivalry games. We went one and one. We lost to them. He caused havoc and we beat Eastern Michigan. They were like one and 11. From Purdue, we're going after two guys in Joshua Sales, a guy that can come in at left tackle and start there. Left and Joe Strickland from Purdue as well. Would love to get him. At center, Pete uh, Nigra. Yuck at me. Center from Louisville. Power five guys, a junior coming to provide depth there. Wide receiver. And then we're going after a couple skill position guys, right? Wide receiver, Samir Hagans from Duke. Tight end, Max Clair from Purdue. Another wide receiver in Moody Rubin from Stanford. Would love to get him. And then left tackle in Maitland Pounders. We like to pound. He'd be great for us. And then finally, Cole Pennington, the quarterback. Don't really know what we have at quarterback. So getting a guy in, he's only a sophomore from Marshall. He torched us last year. Love to have him. We get three-star tight end Max Clare. Love to see that. Just continue to get more skill position guys. Nolan Ziegler commits to Wisconsin. So we're going to take him off the board. We're going to add running back Willie Shaw from Toledo. Toledo ran all over us. He was a big piece of that. If we can get him, it'd be huge. And then Andrew Vaughn from number or excuse me, Aiden Vaughn from number 20, Liberty. He's the guy, he can come in. We need more help at middle linebacker. I think he'd be huge for us. And we get four-star right guard, Tarn Tayo. That's the guy we needed. Here at National Signing Day, we brought in a lot of guys, but Tarn Tayo, the right guard, he's going to replace Addison West. He is an absolute stud. He's only a sophomore too, so he's got a couple years. That's awesome. Did we have, where do we have the class at? I can't imagine we're any higher than like 30 or something. Yeah, we're, okay, so we're 38 one four star, 26 three stars. We had a fantastic class. Great building blocks in this class. Love to see it. Brought in one athlete in Kareem Cantu. This is a guy who's going to play outside linebacker for us. Don't really have much help at linebacker. We tried to focus on it a lot, but he's going to be a big help there. Training results are going to be huge. Just from the guys we were brought back, we jumped from a 76 to an 81. We love to see that. Going into year two, let's take a look at the team. It's going to be a little different, but Jalen Buckley is still here. He's an absolute stud. We bring in Tarin Tyler at right guard. He's only a junior. He's going to replace Addison West. He's going to be an absolute monster. Gone is Hayden Wolf. 
Wolf at quarterback. I don't really know how I feel about our options. Cole Pennington, Brock Lowry, maybe Lester Vickerson down the line, but this is definitely going to be an interesting year with not really a solidified guy at quarterback. At running back, obviously, we have Jalen Buckley, but we brought in Gavin Garcia. We also have better backups in, in Trey Hartwell and Jamal Haley. Jalen Buckley's only a junior. I actually anticipate him coming back, so I think we're going to be fine here. Gone is Kenneth Womack, but Devon Motormore has stepped up. He's developed really well, but outside of him, we really don't have anybody good. Jared Lamp it might be a guy, but we really need to recruit receiver heavy this year. Tight end. Gone is Chris Tudor, but we have Max Clare and Blake Bosma. Max Clare's only a junior, so he's going to be here for one more year. We're going to be fine at tight end. On the offensive line, we bring in senior left guard John Hoffer. This is a guy, he's going to be great, but outside of this year, he's going to be gone, obviously. We're going to have to replace him. I don't really know how I feel about Byron Ragland, so we're going to have to find someone here. At center, gone is Jacob Gideon. We do bring in senior transfer Pete Nigra. He's going to be fine this year, but after this season, we got to find someone to replace him. Gage Grossman might be a piece, but we'll see. At right guard, obviously, Addison West is gone, but we bring in junior Tyron Tayo. He's going to be here for at least two years. We're going to be fine at right guard. At right tackle, this is going to be an issue. We lose Jack Sherman. We bring in Sidney Gizzy, who's a, going to start a, as a true freshman. He's either going to develop really well, or we're going to have to find someone to replace him. For the first time in this video, we have elite defensive end play. We have Corey Walker, but he's only a senior. We're hoping that Joshua Lloyd can kind of develop into that guy, him or Chester Stallings, but we might look to the transfer portal just to get some more depth pieces while these two develop. In the middle, we have defensive tackle senior Mason Nelson. Again, we have a lot of seniors here, but not much underclassmen depth that can develop. We're going to look to fill in while we can hopefully get Dalton, Gus Willer, and Sid Cabot to develop. At corner, Bilal Cohn comes back for his senior season. Unfortunately, after this, he's gone, obviously, so we're going to have to hopefully replace him with maybe Jaden Marshall or Lorenzo Williams. Probably going to have to recruit this position pretty heavily in the offseason. After redshirting, guys, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We had a great season. We're actually going to go after a litany of four stars. I don't anticipate we get maybe even half these guys, but it's going to be fun trying to get as many as we can, and I think we're going to go after probably close to like 30 different four stars. Defensive tackle, Caleb Daly. Right end, George Morant. Left guard, Quan Smalls, right end Mateo Aguino, quarterback Evan Clinton, cornerback Mike Merling, defensive tackle Fred Rousseau, wide receivers Isaac Aurora and Paul Ansa, defensive tackle Vernon Jones, wide receiver Tavares Conway, athlete Ron Bainavalu, left end Shakira Bordeaux, athlete Daniel Smith, left guard Evan Minor, running back Jeff Yancey, wide receiver Cornell Howard, left outside linebacker Dallas Murs, right outside linebacker Zay Madu, right guard Kevin Keyes, running back Skylar Hagen, right outside linebacker Spencer Simons, right guard Larry Calvin, middle linebacker Jesse Simonson, wide receiver Richard Bakhtiari, right tackle Chuck Teeley, wide receiver Warren Maddox, left outside linebacker Troy Togwe, defensive tackle Emmanuel Itabali, left tackle Buck Steiner, middle linebacker Courtney Sturm, right tackle Fatili Tafua, and left tackle Shakira Figures. So to keep it in line with Western Michigan's schedule going into year two, going to Michigan State, we host North Texas. Uh, this is supposed to be Illinois, but we just flip this with the Illinois game here. Um, then we go to Miami, Ohio, go to Eastern, go to Akron, come back and host Toledo, Central Michigan, go to NIU, come back, have a bye. We then finally have our first bye, host Ball State, have our second bye, host Ohio. So our two rivalry games, Central and Eastern, are a little earlier than last season. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. Caleb Daly already locked this out, so we're going to take him off our board. In turn, we're going to add cornerback Dylan Page. We need a good corners. This could be a huge guy for us. So we take down Michigan State. Our championship contender actually falls to a B-. minus. Our brain exposure jumps up to a C+, though, so we like to see that. Moutier Rubin, four receptions for 101 yards and a touchdown. Monster game for Moutier. Take a look at that game here. Beat them by 11. Two rushing touchdowns for Moutier Rubin, one through the air. Wow, he had a monster game. We're at the point where we can start scheduling visits. We've started to schedule visits against teams like Central Michigan. That's going to be our number one competition in the match. So that's going to be a huge game for us going forward. We take down North Texas. Our championship contender moves up to a B. We're playing well so far. After the loss to Illinois, our championship contender falls to a B minus. It's a tough game to lose, but they're a good team. We're going to take Vernon Jones off our board. He locked this out as well as Tavares Conway. We are going to add Angelo Mateo of free safety to our board. If we can get him, I know it's a late, he'd be a huge piece for us. And next up, we're going to add right end Bryce Cordell. I know we're late, but he'd be a huge piece for our defensive line. We get four-star corner Mike Merling, a huge get for this program. After the win against Miami, Ohio, we move back up to a B championship contender too. We love to see that. We fall to Central Michigan. No, we fall to Eastern Michigan and our championship contender falls to a C plus. And now we are now only one and two against our rivals. Don't like to see that. And because of those losses, we're actually locked out of Mateo Aquino and Evan Clinton and Bryce Cordell. So we really got to get back to winning. We lose a game to Akron. Our championship contender falls to a C. This is not good. We're going to take Daniel Smith off our board. He commits to Tennessee. Evan Miner commits to Michigan. Jeff Yancey commits to Syracuse. We're also going to take off Dallas Murs as he commits to Notre Dame. We are going to add free safety Larry Newitt to the board. I know it's late, but nobody's really going after him. I think we can get in on him. As well as free safety, 
safety, Quentin Kogbila. Another guy I think if we can get in on him now, we'll be fine. We fall to four and four after another loss. A championship contender falls to a D plus. Stadium atmosphere does go up, but we gotta come home and start winning some games. We do get 10 more coach points. Our goal, we're just gonna keep trying to get recruits. We lose to Toledo and Dylan Page commits to North Carolina State, so we're gonna take him off our board. Mateo Aquino commits to Louisville, so we're gonna take him off the board. And Evan Clinton commits to Miami, so he's gone. We're gonna take Reddit Sun linebacker Zay Madu off. He commits to Wisconsin. Kevin Keyes commits to Michigan. And Skyler Hagen locks us out, so damn. We're gonna go after Zach Winter, another guy I think could help us. We need help on the offensive line. Gonna get in on him late, though. We do take down Central Michigan, so we move to 2-2 two and two against our rivals. Our championship contender jumps back up to a C. We love to see that, but gotta keep winning. Even though we take down Central Michigan, George Morant commits to Syracuse, so he's gone. Quan Smalls commits to Michigan, so we're gonna take him off the board. And Frederick Rousseau commits to Alabama, so he's gone. We are gonna add Cedric Pinckney to our board. Nobody's really going after him. He's an elusive back. I think we can get in on him. We're gonna take Spencer Zimmons off our board. He commits to Alabama. Larry Calvin commits to Miami, so he's gone. Jesse Simonson commits to Tennessee, so he's gone. Richard Bakhtiari commits to Iowa State, so he's gone. Chuck Neely locks us out. Same with Willie Maddox, so he's gone. And Troy Atogway commits to Alabama, so he's gone. We're gonna go after John Welsh, a right guard. We need help on the offensive line. Nobody's really going after him, so I think if we get it on him quick, we might have a shot. We get four-star wide receiver Cornell Howard. Huge get for this program. We need to get high-level talent. And we take down NIU. We move up to six and four. Our championship contender is C+. Plus. Love to see it. Jared Lamp, the freshman wide receiver. Seven receptions for 106 yards, three touchdowns. Legendary game from Lamp. Love to see it. 59 to seven. He had, wow. We smoked North Illinois. Holy smokes. We're gonna take Emmanuel at a ballet off the board, he commits to Louisville. Josh Sharp locks us out, so he's gone. And Buck Center commits to Notre Dame, so he's gone. We're gonna add Max Chosen to the board. If we can sneak into the top five, I think we have a chance. Courtney Sturm commits to Alabama, so he's gone. But Taylor Tafua locks us out, so we're gonna take him off the board. And Shakir Figures commits to Iowa State, so he's gone. We're gonna go after Tyree Bowden, the athlete. If we can sneak into the top five, I think we have an outside shot at him. Even though we didn't win a game, we had a bye this week. Our championship contender moves up to a B minus. We love to see that. We lose to Ball State. Our championship contender falls to a D plus. Our stadium atmosphere falls to a C minus. We don't like to see that. After the loss to Ball State, Bryce Cotal commits to Iowa State, so we're going to take him off our board. Paul Anson commits to Tennessee, so we're going to take him off our board. Ron Bainavalu commits to Michigan, so we're going to take him off the board. Coming off our second by our championship contender moves back up to a C. Our brand exposure does drop, but I think we have to win this game to be bowl eligible. It's not going to be an easy game. With that win against Ohio, we moved to 75, a B minus championship contender, C plus brand exposure. Love to see that. We're going to go bowling. Um, I don't know. Cole Pennington had a crazy game, 295, two touchdowns. Mac offensive to play of the week against Ohio. Love to see that. Take a look at that game. I didn't hop into a game in year two. Uh, didn't really think I needed to. Beat Ohio, three touchdowns, 60 yards on the ground. Cole, crazy game. Because of that, we are going to go bowling. We love to see that. What we don't love to see is Angelo Mateo committing to Miami instead of us. So we're going to take him off the board. Isaac Aurora commits to Minnesota, so he's gone. Shakir Bordeaux commits to Michigan, so he's gone. And Zach Witter commits to Penn State, so he's gone. We are going to add Tyrone Harris to our board. He's someone who became late available late for us after our championship contender went up. So we're, if we can get in on him, I think that'd be huge. After that disappointing season, I'm actually going to fire offensive coordinator Andrew Edmonds. We really need to build a score more points. That was the biggest struggle we had in a lot of our losses. See what happens. We want to try to spice our offense up. We get right guard Max Chosen. That's a huge commitment for our program. We're going to be taking on Wisconsin. This is a team that we played last year in the Detroit Bowl. Taking them on the Detroit We played them last year in the regular season. So it'll be interesting. Taking a look at early national signing date, we actually only, I think we've signed like three prospects. So this was definitely an interesting year. We bring in Mike Merling. We bring in Cornell Howard. Bring in Max Chosen. We're still going after a lot of guys, but we really are going to have to nail transfer portal. I love Gunnar Stockton. If he leads him to the number five team in the country, he will win Heisman. We got to bring in an offensive coordinator. Let's see who we want to go get. We could t talk about Steven Fiedler, the head coach at Kent State. He would be a huge get for us. Stealing him and throwing him at our offensive coordinator. Leonardo Guerrero, the head coach at Kennesaw State. He runs a pistol offense and a 3-3-5 defense. He has an Indiana pipeline. A lot of schools are interested in him. Offensive coordinator. Iowa, Cincinnati, and James Madison are interested in him to be their offensive coordinator. I think I'm going to offer Leonardo Guerrero and see if we can get him. Meanwhile, we have a bowl game to play against Wisconsin. I'm going to send this one. I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter to us. So if we get it, great. Get four-star center Tyree Bono. That's huge. We love to see that. Let's take a look at Dave Shaw, the head coach of Coastal Carolina. Runs a spread offense, a 4-3 defense. Defense, a North Carolina pipeline. We'd like to see that. Either him or do I go after Stephen Fiedler, the Kent State head coach. Runs a multiple offense scheme and defensive base 4-3 in an Indiana pipeline. I fam. Um, I think I'm going to go after Dave Shaw. I like that he fits our scheme a little better. If we could get him, that'd be huge. We bring in Dave Shaw from Coastal Carolina. We love to see that. So we're going to bring in a new offensive coordinator. Hopefully that changes our fortunes around. Last year we had some injuries, but this past season we didn't have any injuries. I was checking every week. And so that's actually, that actually kind of sucks that we had such a regression. After that season, our pro potential actually falls to a C minus. Our conference prestige falls to a D plus. Coach stability falls to a B. Athletic facilities falls to a D plus. Man, I don't understand how some of this stuff falls. We're an 84 overall team, so we're theoretically the best team we've had all season or this whole rebuild so we'd like to see that players leaving this could be huge nobody's leaving 
We are obviously losing someone like Corey Walker and John Hofer to graduation, as well as senior Bilal Cohn, tight end Blake Bozma, Mason Nelson, defensive tackle, wide receiver Devon Mortimer, running back Gavin Garcia, Pete Nigra at center. We lost a lot of guys, but nobody transferred. We love to see that. The guys that we got, they're here for the long haul. This is where things are going to get sketchy. We're going to have to go get a lot of guys. Oh, no. Our pro potential fell. No. We are going to go after a ridiculously massive transfer portal class. Let's run through them. Running back Jacavion Callett from Central Michigan. He's going to be a piece for us. Cornerback Corn Crisp from Louisville. Wide receiver Jalen Love from Northwestern. Cornerback Terrence Thomas from Akron. Halfback Trey Cornish from Tulane. Left tackle Evan McClure from Northern Illinois. He was a monster. Left end Jeremiah Warren and right tackle Zach Amelin from Illinois. Left tackle small from eastern michigan we're going after a lot of guys especially in the trenches we need them we get three-star guard landry cannon three-star right guard george trailer who starts tight end blake gunter we start left tackle adam pond love to see that doing really well in the transfer portal so far it's definitely gonna be a smaller class but i think we're going quality over quantity right now we are gonna add bowling green guard isaac mond to our board if we can get him that'd be huge and quentin kubila commits to nebraska so we're gonna take him off our board we are gonna add melvin westerman to our board a right guard we just need more help at on the offensive line right now we bring in cornerback terrence Thomas, strong safety Kevin Willis, will his dick fit in your mouth, Will Holiday, the right guard, Landon Hron, another right guard, Quinn Hensel, quarterback, right end Zach Trailer, right tackle Zach Amland, brought in a big transfer class. We'd love to see that. We do have 10 coach points. We want to put this toward recruiting. Our recruiting has been mid at best. We want to be able to do that at a higher level. Taking a look at National Signing Day, our class is going to be really small. I don't anticipate it being high level. We bring in Terrence Thomas, the corner, strong safety of Kevin Willis. Will his dick fit in your mouth? Landry Cannon, the corner. Freshman Mike Merling. Transfer Blake Gunter and Aaron Pond. Wide receiver Cornell Howard. Transfers Will Holiday, Landon Hron, Gwen Hensel, Zach Trailer, Zach Amland. And two four-star freshmen, Max Chosen and Tyree Bono. We brought in a nice class. Again, going to be small, but I like what we brought. Ranked as the 60th best class in the country, right between number 20 Colorado and number 60. Liberty. Four, four stars, 11, three stars. Again, small, but we like it. Just because something's small doesn't mean it's bad. I wouldn't know anything about that. Bringing an athlete in Tyree Bono. Gonna move him to D-tackle. We need help in the trenches. He can be a guy that's gonna start right away. Taking a look at training results. Team looks much better. This doesn't even include the guys we brought in. Got a lot of juniors and sophomores up here. We do have some seniors, obviously, guys that have developed, but we're in a good spot. Taking a look at the roster. We actually, this year, have some good quarterback depth. Cole Pennington is a senior, but behind him is Brock Lowry, so he's gonna be a guy next year. We got some guys in sophomore, as sophomores and freshmen that we're going to develop. We did drop back down to a two-star program, but we're going to be fine at quarterback for a little bit. At running back, Jalen Buckley is back for his senior season. We also have senior Jamal Haley. After that, I don't know how I feel about Trey Hartwell, so we're probably going to look to get some depth at running back going into this next season. Fair. At wide receiver, we don't really have anybody. we got to get someone here. Tight end, we bring back Max Clare for his senior season and Blake Gunter. Gone is Blake Bosma. We do have a freshman in Vi Palele who might be a guy, but we'd probably look to get someone else in the transfer portal just for deck, extra depth. For the first time in the middle of it, we actually have a decent left tackle in Dean Lawson. He's only a junior so he's going to be here for a while. Really excited about that. Also, Adam Pine, if anybody gets hurt, we're going to be fine. Gone is John Hoffer, but we bring in Landry Cannon, the senior. We're going to be fine here this year, but after this year, we're probably going to have to find someone to replace him. I don't know how I feel about Byron Ragland. He's only a 75 overall. We'll see. At center, gone is Pete Nigra. We do have Gage Grossman, the fre redshirt freshman. Don't know how I feel about him. Probably going to look to bring in some guys to challenge him at least next year. Right guard, we have two, we actually have four stud seniors between Chad Schuster, Will Holiday, George Trailer, and Taron Tayo. We're going to be fine here. Going into the next season, I'm going to redshirt Max Chosen. Hopefully, he can take over the reins next year. But if not, we're still probably going to look to get some guys that can help. At right end, gone is Corey Walker. We do bring in Joshua Lloyd, only a sophomore. He's going to be a stud. At defensive tech, gone is Mason Nelson. We don't really have anybody to replace him. We really are going to have to work on this position going forward. At cornerback, we have an interesting situation. We have Terrence Thomas and Jaden Marshall, the two seniors. They're going to be studs. We also have sophomore Laveria Stanford, who's going to be here for a while. So this year, we're going to be loaded. But next year, we're going to be fine. We have some depth in RW Cobb, Lorenzo Williams. Mike Merling, Ernest Lobato. We're going to be fine at corner. Gone is Bilal Cone, though, so it's going to be it's sad that he's gone. At strong safety, for the first time in a while, we actually have a couple good options. Terion Nichols, he's only a junior. He's going to be here for a while. Kevin Willis will his dick fit in your mouth. He's going to provide depth here this year. That's going to be awesome. All right, so going into year three, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We did have a bit of a down year, but we're still going to go after a lot of four star local talent, including left tackle Carter Jamison, defensive tackle Joshua Hack, left ends Rayquan Shabazz and Barry Bibbs, right outside linebacker Jeremy Keyes, tight end Larry Kaufasui. Left tackle, Hayden Ramsey. Cornerback, Patrick McGlinchey. Right outside linebacker, Jeremiah Branson. Tight end, Ron Ham, And left guard, Nolan Benshaw. So we're going to try to get more guys in the building, focus a little more on three stars just to build depth. But we are going to go after some high-level guys. Let's take a look at our schedule in year three. Wow, this is tough. We open at number one, Michigan. We have our bye. And we go to number 18, Texas. We have an FCS school in Mississippi State. And then we get into action, right? We go to Kent State, we host Eastern and Buffalo. Then we go to Central, host Bowling Green, go to Ohio and Toledo, and then finally come back against Miami, Ohio. The only game that isn't actually scheduled 
scheduled. This is Mississippi State game. They just don't have a game yet scheduled. This is supposed to be Monmouth, so this is accurate. This is tough, right? We're at 86 overall, so we're the best program, best team we've been but this is still not going to be easy. We're actually going to hop into this game against Michigan. I know it's a long shot, but I think we might have a chance to take them down. I haven't hopped into a game in technically like over a season, so fuck it, let's see if we can do it. Gotta get a stop here on third down, gotta hold them. Great job! Oh, wait, no! How did... Oh my, dude, no way they got a... Dude, the fact that they got any yards on that play is fucking ridiculous. Dude, no! Thank you! Great defense! Gonna flip the jet touch pass to the wide side of the field. They're in man, so this actually might help us a lot, actually. Gotta bring the cheese out, man. We're in Wolverine Stadium. This is never easy. Great block. Great blocking! Great blocking! And the Broncos take a 7-0 lead. Mon McLaurin here. Second and 10. Oh, a counter. Uh oh. Oh my god, I took a terrible angle. Wow. Here we go, boys. Let's see if we can get this. First and goal. We're... Dude, oh my god, I couldn't go anywhere. Jalen Buckley's been running all over the place, but it's tough to score in the red zone against Michigan. Great ball! Wow! We might have to score every time we touch the ball to beat this Michigan team. I'm not going to lie. They are moving the ball. We got to shut some blocks. Holy shit, bro. We're getting bullied on defense. We got to get a stop, boys. Come on, third and five. We need it. Great job, defense! Dude. What? No! Defense, we need you to hold strong, big dog. Come on, hold no field goal. Oh, you gotta break on that fast, or you gotta get that ball. Great job, D-line! I'm on stock still. Dude, what? I'm jamming, why? That's fucking criminal. You don't even, like, cheating ass game, bro. Where am I supposed to go, bro? Where am I supposed to go? Give me the first. Give me the first! I'm cheating, bro. I'm going jet touch pass. Don't care. This game is a cheating ass game trying to make us lose. Cheating ass game don't matter! Def we're up by four. Offense has started to hum a little bit. Defense, we need to get a stop here. I'm on stock still. Wow. Oh, dude. We need one stop, man. Third and seven, please. Dude! Oh! That's criminal, dude. That's twice I should have picked this fucking Denegal off. Dude, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. This fucking game. Gotta hold him to three. We have to hold this Michigan team to three. Great job, defense. Honestly, fuck them. They can have this. I'm not trying to. If I if I did this and hit their kicker, we almost still did it. We almost still hit their fucking field kicker. What is this fucking CPU doing? CPU is drunk, bro. A and X. A is on my right. X is on my left. Pennington. Gotta have it. Let's go. Hold on to it. Nope. 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 Flag, great. It's probably fucking... It's probably fucking holding, dude! God damn it! Cheating ass game, bro. Of course, they don't have any fucking penalties this entire game. Please! PLEASE! Pennington! Let's go! I'm on Willis. Willis dick fit in your mouth. I'm taking off, bro. No! I see it! We just won. Oh my god, bro. When I tell you I saw it and my toes just looked like this. I'm so clenched, bro. My butthole is puckered. What a fucking win. Oh my god. Pennington, you are a precision piss missile throwing machine. Holy shit, that was nuts. I know that's not a rivalry game, but damn, that was a hell of a game, a win. Holy smokes, dude. Cheating ass game trying to make me lose. Jared Lamp, oh, 10 receptions, 115 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, golly, bro. 115 receiving yards for three touchdowns. Dude was a monster. We do have an injured Dean Lawson. Tony Labrum, he's out for this week. This is our buy already, so if there was ever a time to get hurt, it's gonna be him. But if he does miss extended time, let's take a look at the run. Roster. We have Eric 
Roseman there for now. We do have two new, two junior right tackles in Zach Omlin and Jack Parker. We have Adam Pond at right tackle already just because we don't really have anybody there. We could just move him back, but I like this. And then Jack Parker and Sidney Gizzi over here. We're going to be fine. We'll be okay, but really thin at offensive line. We need him to come back. With that win over Michigan, our championship contender actually moves up to a B. Our brand exposure somehow falls to a C, but we're taking on Tennessee in our second game. Got to start off hot. This is going to be a tough game playing in Knoxville. Get up field! Get out of there, Lamb! Get out of there! Wow! The breakaway speed! One play touchdown! <laughs> Xbox, record that! Third and four. Look like they have, we have a chance. See if we can hit with the draw. I haven't done it yet. <sighs> Got a cut outside there. Damn. We had a chance to take that to a double digit lead and we didn't. Defense. Fat. <sighs> Against teams like Tennessee, we have to score probably every time. So this is not a good look. Third and eight, they're in too high. Give me the first. Nice job. Jared Lamp has been an absolute stud for us. Give the ball back to Jalen Buckley here. Get out of there, Jalen Buckley, what a run. Let's see if we can hit him with this fake jet touch pass. We ran the Jake touch pass for a touchdown earlier. I wanna see if they fight for it. They're in zone, this isn't gonna work as well as I thought it was going to. Give me a couple, give me a couple. We'll take four or three, that's fine. Touchdown. Get in there! Look at that audible! Jared Lamp! Defense, we need to get a stop here, man. This is, I know it's tough. Dude, Nico is so tough to stop. Oh my God. 21 rushing yards. They're using him like, literally like Cam Newton. I'm Willis, Willis, dick fit in your mouth. I'm flying down. Oh, it's a Jared touch pass. Oh, it's a fake. Wow. Great. That was great. Great ball. Wow. Our receivers are moving right now. They're in zone. Okay. Great lamb! Oh my goodness! This dude's a stud! We gotta get a stop here, defense. We gotta get something. We gotta give our offense a break. I don't know if we're gonna be able to score every time down the field. I mean, that's what we're asking. Never mind. Offense, keep it up, man. Just gotta keep scoring. Get out of there. Lamb! Oh my god, that's not lamb. That's Fong? Dude, what is going on with our offense? We are flying around. I'm on McClure and defense. We gotta get a stop here, man. Are they chewing clock? What are they? Dude, touch grass, Tennessee, you fucking nerds. Yeah, get the, f sit down, bitch. Excellent, we'll hold no field goal. That's fine. Fong, please, just run straight, bro. Like I said, just run straight, Fong! Just run straight! And this is when we go jet touch pass to the wide side. Lamp, we need you, big dog. Give me the first. Let's try to punch this thing on the ground. Jaden Buckley, we take a four point lead over the Volunteers. Wow, this has just been, whatever offense falters is gonna lose. McLaurin, third and two, we need to get a stop defense. Get there! Fourth and 15, of, what a huge time for the first sack of the game. We still have a one point lead. We threw a, f we fumbled. No, our offense finally faltered. Got him, huge hit. Cameron Selden has almost 200 yards on the day. That's ridiculous. Great! Dude, our defense is everywhere. Down by seven. What a ball. Oh my god. They are giving me this. I'm walking down the field. I almost wonder if I'm scoring too fast. If I'm able to score here. I'm on Nichols. Holy shit. If we can get a stop here, this would be massive. What? Dude, get the fuck out of here. I'm on, dude, I don't even want to make the Willis joke anymore, bro. Dude, get, kiss my fucking left dick. Dude, oh my God. I'm not pressing anything on that drive. There's no fucking, fuck, dude, I gotta bring the cheese out. I don't give a shit. Give me that block. Way to get in, lamb. Dude, we just need one stop. Willis, dick fit in your mouth, please. That's insane! That's insane! I'm not pressing or anything! Hold on. Dude, absolute stud. I'm taking off. I'm taking off Bennington! Dude, 20 seconds. I'm in fucking cover four, bro. Dude, I'm f How? 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 What the fuck is happening? That's the most ridiculous game I've ever been part of, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, I threw for like 600 fucking, dude. I am so sick to my fucking stomach, dude. I was in cover four trying to give, play over the top. I don't want to see, man, get the fuck out of here, you stupid fucking game. I'm in cover four, bro. Why is there nobody back there? You know, shit, he's the fucking, I bet we have the Mac offense for the game too, bro. 
6,000 yards. Yeah, Jared Lamb played great, bro. Five touchdowns, bro. That's fucking unreal. We're going to melt some fucking team, bro. I'm Dude, that is ridiculous that we lost that fucking game. That's fucking stupid. Stupid. We bring in right tackle Paris Peterson. That's a huge get. And Omar Wayne. Those are the two guys we really wanted. We are going to add Rodney Tisdale to our board. The quarterback from Western Kentucky. He's only a sophomore. We just need more talent at the quarterback room, especially now that Cole Pennington's gone. Might as well take a flyer on him. We get 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. We really need to hammer recruiting in these next couple years if we want to have a chance to win a national championship. We actually brought in a pretty loaded class, starting with the transfers, Paris Patterson and Omar Wayne. We bring in high schooler Josh Hack. We bring in transfer Marquise Williams, transfer Cooper Stark, high schooler Raekwon Shabazz, a four-star gem. Transfers in Damon Marable and Ryan Bloom. We bring in Jeremy Keys, another four-star gem from high school. Larry Kafusi, transfer Gerald Newell. Rodney Tisdale, we got in him late but he's going to be a piece for us. He foreseeably the transfer. Nathan Ogber, Jeremiah Branson, and Ron Ham. We brought in a massive class. I, this is easily our best class. A top 30 class, nine four stars and 23 stars. We love to see it. One athlete in Brendan Hearns. We're going to make him a fullback. I know it's weird, but we use fullbacks a lot and we really have a hard time blocking guys. So I think we're going to put him there. And we have some low overall fullbacks. So putting him here allows us to cut some of those guys. Don't tell anybody though. Bringing back Brock Lowry was huge. After training results, we're back to an 86. We are only a one and a half star program, but have Having an 85, 86 overall quarterback is going to be huge for us. We're a younger team for sure. That's definitely for certain. Taking a look at the roster, gone is Cole Pennington, but Brock Lowry has developed into an absolute stud. Unfortunately, after him, I don't know how I feel about any of these guys between J.D. Davis, Rodney Tisdale, maybe Lester Vickerson or Quinn Hensel. We're going to redshirt Nathan Ogburn. He has a chance to be the quarterback down the line, but he, you know, he's buried in the depth chart right now. Gone is Jalen Buckley and Jamal Haley. Trey Hartwell has developed and we have Marquise Williams. So we're going to be fine at running back this season. I don't know how I feel about our running back room going forward so we're probably gonna have to recruit this position pretty heavily going forward at tight end gone is max claire and blake gunter vi palele is our starting guy we have two true freshmen and larry kafusi and ron ham we're probably gonna look to bring in an upperclassman to build out depth at this position while our guys develop because this this is kind of a sad tight end room if we're being honest dean lawson comes back for his senior season but we don't have anybody else on this roster that isn't a senior so we're gonna have to find guys at left tackle going forward gone is landry cannon but we bring in omar wayne he's only a junior so we're gonna be fine at this position for a couple years we also have cooper starks the senior so he's going to provide depth at other positions as well. At center, we actually have Gage Grossman. He's only a sophomore, so he's going to continue to get better. We're going to be fine at center for probably the next three years. Go on is Tarantayo and George Trailer, but we have a litany of great underclassmen at right guard, JT Cadella and Max Chosen. We also have senior Landon Ron. Um, we're going to be fine at this position for, again, for another, probably another three years. And then at right tackle, we bring in Paris Patterson. We also have incumbent Jack Parker. These guys are both seniors, so after that, we're probably going to be kind of screwed at right tackle, so we're going to have to either replace Sidney Gizzy, hope he can develop, or we'll figure it out from there. At right end, Joshua Lloyd back for his junior season. He's a stud. We're going to be fine here. He's going to be back for one more season. He's going to develop into an absolute monster. At defensive tackle, we have senior Dalton Gusweiler. After that, I don't know how I feel about Tyree Bono and Jamie LaFoto. Tyree Bono has already tried to leave, so he might try to leave again. Gonna have to look to get some more depth at defensive tackle. And middle linebacker Marcus McLaurin in 85. He is a senior, so we're obviously gonna have to replace him. We should be good this year. Maybe David Torrance develops, but we, we need to get more middle linebackers in general. At corner gone is Terrence Thomas and Jaden Marshall. Laveria Stanford comes back for his junior season. We do have another corner in RW Cobb who's gonna be really good this year. After that, going forward, we hope that Mike Merling, maybe Ernest Lobato and Grandma Dwyer can develop, but we should be fine for this year. Obviously, LaVar Stanford having an A1 corner is huge and we're going to be fine with that. At free safety, we bring in Mafu Lambo. He's an absolute stud, but he is a senior. We do bring in three freshman free safeties. We're probably going to register all three of them. I don't know if they're going to be ready to contribute next year, so we're probably going to look to bring in another transfer going into next season. And then at strong safety, gone is Ken Willis, Dick Fit in your mouth. Terion Nichols is back for his senior season. 88 overall, absolute stud, but again, he's a senior. We do have Damon Marabal, who's another stud, but we're going to have to look to find someone to fill the strong safety position going into next season. Next up, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We did have a bad season, so we're going to kind of tone it back on the four stars. Lonnie Mixon, this is a guy at left guard. If we can get him, he would be a massive get for this program. Let's take a look at our schedule. We're hosting Southern Miss. Then we start MAC play in week two, actually, to go to Miami of Ohio. Then we come back and host Kennesaw State and Rice, and then finish MAC play at Eastern Michigan, at Akron, versus Toledo and Central Michigan. We go to Northern Illinois. We play FCS Southeast. We then get Ball State. We finally get our buy in week 12, and then we go to Ohio. We host Ohio. So we only play one, two, three, four road games. This could be the year we make a big run. And yes, I did change the schedule. It gave me, who did it give me? No. 
Nevada instead, but in 2027, Rice actually plays against Western Michigan, so I decided to put them on the schedule. Subi. Jelani Mixon is already at the point where we can schedule him a visit. We need to get him in the building. Probably going to schedule him against Kansas State. And we lose to Southern Miss. Our championship contender falls to a D minus. Our program tradition falls to a D minus. This is not good. We're actually able to start hard selling Jelani Mixon as well, so we're going to do that. The clutch is what we need for him. We need to come and clutch for him. We're only in week two, and we get our first commit wide receiver, Joshua Muhammad. That's huge for this program. Just trying to get as many guys as we can in the building now. We do get a win. Our championship contender jumps to a D plus. Love to see that. Even our stadium atmosphere falls to a D plus. We take down Miami of Ohio on the road. That's huge. One, we also get running back Juan Hawkins, wide receiver Mantra Canada. We get left guard Delani Mixon. That's the gem of the class. We do lose to Kennesaw State. Our championship contender falls to a D. Got to start winning games. We fall to Rice. We move to one and three. Our championship contender falls to a D minus. This season is quickly falling out of control. Against Eastern Michigan, Tyree Bono, Mac defense for the week, two sacks, six tackles, three TFLs in a loss. Let's take a look at this game. Wow, we just, our offense is anemic right now. Cole Pennington was much better than I think we all anticipated. We take down, I think, Akron. And it was up to a C. We love to see that. That helps a lot of things. We fall to Central Michigan. Move to three and five against our rivals. Championship Center falls to a D minus. That is not a good look. And because of the way we've been losing, Jelani Mixon actually locks us out. So we're going to take him off our board. He decommitted. We hate to see that. We are going to add Charles York, the defensive tackle, to our board. We just need to get as many good players we can in the building. With that win against Northern Illinois, our championship contender jumps up to a D plus. We like to see that. Just trying to win as many games as we can this season. We get middle linebacker Jimmy Niski. We just need, and that's huge. We don't really have much mic depth. We move to four and six after beating FCS Southwest. Championship contender jumps up to a C. Program tradition jumps up to a D, so we like to see that. We get three-star left tackle to Marco Avery. Just continuing to build up the trenches. We need that. Take down Ball State. Move to five and six. Championship contender jumps back up to a C plus. Love to see that. Even after that win, Ezekiel Ogundeji commits to Nebraska, so we're going to take him off our board. We are going to add Joel Fahoko. We do need more receivers. Our receivers have been mid pretty much for the last couple years, so we got to get better guys in there. Jamison Traore commits to Illinois, so we're going to take him off our board. We're going to add athlete Dennis Sanders. He might be a piece for us at quarterback. And this might be the reason we're actually playing so bad. JT Cadella and Gage Grossman, two of our starting off at the linemen have been hurt. Let's take a look. I mean, obviously, JT Cadella could be back for our season finale. If we win that game, we might have a chance at a bowl game. Gage Grossman's out for the season, so let's take a look at the roster and who's been playing for that. At center, we've gone to senior Ryan Bloom. I mean, yeah, that's really not who we want there. And then if he gets hurt, Luke Zanotti, we, yeah. I mean, Eric Roseman, the senior left tackle backup is there, but we have Dean Lawson, Jack Parker, and Zach Almond. I mean, our offensive line is just thin, right? I mean, Patterson's here. We have Roseman, Gizzy, and then at right guard, Cooper Starks has been playing there out of position at left guard. We do have Max Chosen if we really want to put him there, and Byron Raglan at left guard. I mean, we just, we're just thin, right? Omar Wayne's starting at left guard. He's fine. Landon Ron. It's just tough. It's tough to have offensive line injuries. Do get three star right guard, Deion Chubb, middle linebacker like Mike Lyles, free safety, Leo Tracy. Just continuing to add to the positions, like the, the non flashy positions. Our championship can jump to a B minus. We'd love to see that. That's awesome. Dennis Sanders locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. We're going to have Manu Alabi to the board. He's a fullback. We want to get some of the fullbacks we have on roster off the roster. So getting a good one. Can't have too many of them. We're going to take Delonte Jackson off our board. He commits to Ohio. We play Ohio this week, so if we could beat him. That'd be pretty fun. We were going to add athlete Mike Dubois to the roster. I think he could be a huge piece for us. We get right tackle Rudy Nagy, defensive tackle Charles York. Just continuing to add guys to the roster. We do fall to 5-7, lose to Ohio. Championship contender goes to a C minus. Program tradition falls to a D minus. I don't think I'm going to make any changes in the coaching staff. I think we just need to continue to get healthy and get different guys in. We're going to take Hugh Barnes off the board. Trey Mullins locks us out. Tony O'Leary commits to Bowling Green. Lane Bryant commits to Kentucky. Because of what we've been playing, we've been locked out of a couple guys. We're going to add some more fullbacks to our board. Zach Coda. You can't have too many fullbacks. I love having fullbacks on the roster. They're great blockers. At the end of the day, we can use them as backup tight ends, backup running backs. So we're going to add that. And then we're going to add another one in Nate Griffin. And I think we're going to be loaded at fullback. And that's good because you can't have too many good fullbacks. Anybody that tells you otherwise is just a hater generational. We're also going to add tight end Enrique Rodriguez. Again, just want to get guys in the building that can block. We get wide receiver Joel Fajoko. We'd love to see that. Got the Juco wide receiver after coming in on him late. My contract got extended for another five years. They only want to win four games a year. I'm with that. We're not going to fire anybody. I think at the end of the day, you know, we brought in a whole new staff. We brought in two new coordinators. Didn't have to expect to do that. We're going to see how this team does this upcoming season. We're going to add quarterback Jameer Bolston to the roster. We just need to get better quarterback play, especially because we're going to be losing some guys this year. We do have Ken Coach Points going to put this all toward recruiting. All I have left recruiting wise is quarterbacks and then D linemen. And then we can start focusing on other stuff. This year's Heisman class sucks. Ew. You guys are buns. Taking a look at early national signing day. We bring in Joshua Muhammad, Leo Tracy, Charles York, Mantra Kennedy, Dennis Linder, Juan Hawkins, DJ Bulaga, Tyler Beresaw with Joel Fajoko, Daryl Segal, Deion Chubb, George Terrell, Jimmy Nitschke, Brian Bloom, Rudy Nagy, Mike Lyles, DeMarco Avery. Brought in a lot of high level three star talent. We'd love to see that. We get running back Mike Dubois, fullback Nate Griffin. Love to see that. Coach prestige falls to a C. Our pro potential goes up to a B minus. We'd love to see that. Coach stability goes up to an A. We jump up to a two star program. Things are 
They're looking up. Maybe. Maybe not. We get tight end Enrique Rodriguez. Just continuing to add to these rooms. We love to see this. Players leaving this could be bad. Kind of bad. Okay, so ideally, if we can keep two, it's Bono and Raycon Shabazz. If not, Larry Kafausa and Riley Tisdale is the one I'm least want back. Please, dear God, Bono. So he was going to transfer last year. He decided to transfer this year. Raekwon Shabazz. Uh-oh. You know what's funny? We're the only one we're going to get is Rodney Tisdale. Nope. We might not get any of them. They all left. Okay, so we lost all four of the guys. Plus, we lose Brock Lowry, as well as Jack Parker, Dean Lawson, Marcus McLaurin, R.W. Cobb, Dalton Gustweiler, Mafu Lambo, Terion Nichols, Paris Patterson, Marquise Williams, Cooper Starks, and Demon Marable. Okay, so we lost a lot of talent. The only one that I'm really, really upset about is Tyree Bono. I mean, obviously losing Raekwon Shabazz and Larry Kafusi as, as freshmen, that kind of sucks, but damn. Training results have to go crazy or else we're screwed. We're only an 84 overall after losing all those guys, so we're actually not in a terrible spot. We're going after a pretty big transfer class. Ronald Madu, the three-star strong safety from Old Dominion. Middle linebacker Manu Madden from UAB. Right on Damian Pay from Michigan State. Matt Givens, left guard from Kennesaw State. He beat us. We want him now. If you can't beat him, take him. Defensive tackle Dion Howden from Coastal Carolina. Right end Javier Neal from San Jose State. Free safety Shamir Dodson from Miami, Ohio. Love to get him. Again, can't beat him, take him. Running back Tommy Wall from North Texas. And finally, running back DJ Clifford from Coastal Carolina. We need help at pretty much a decent amount of positions across the board. We got to get some of these guys. We get three-star middle linebacker Matt O'Madden, the first guy in our transfer class. We're going after a bunch of other guys. That'd be huge if we could pull in some more. We're going to take Ronald Madu off the board. He locked us out. We are going to add two-star center transfer Rigo Truman to the board. I think he could be a nice developmental piece. He's only a freshman. We bring in three-star fullback Manu Ulavu, three-star fullback Zach Cota, three-star D-tackle Deion Howden, three-star halfback DJ Clifford, three-star halfback Tommy Wall, three-star left guard Matt Givens. Wow, we brought in a big transfer class. We still have one more week to fill it in. This could be huge. We need it. Shamir Dotson commits to Kentucky, so we're going to take him off our board. And Damian Pay commits to LSU, so we're going to take him off the board. We're going to take Nelson Okalanwan off our board. He commits to Missouri. We don't want him anyway. He's a fraud. We're going to add Antoine Ecker, another quarterback. We need to get as much talent as we can in the skill position rooms as we possibly can. We get three-star fullback Ronald Antoine. Hopefully after training results, we moved closer to an 84 overall. Let's take a look at our team. We run in a huge three-star class, right? Deion Howden, Manu Madden, DJ Clifford, Tommy Wall, Matt Givitz. Transfer Rico Truman, Zach Cota, Joshua Muhammad, Leo Tracy, Charles York, Montre Kennedy, Dennis Linder, Juan Hawkins, DJ Bulaga, Nate Griffin, Tyler Darisad, Yol Fahoko, Daryl Sagal, Manu Alabu, Deion Chubb, Mike Dubois, George Terrell, Jimmy Niski, Brian Bloom, Rudy Nagy, Mike Lyles, DeMarco Avery, Enrique Rodriguez, Jamerson Ballston, Ronald Antoine, and Ronald Antoine. We brought in a huge class. I would love to see that. Let's take a look at the class. We signed 30 guys. I imagine it's somewhere in the 50s or 60s. Did I miss it already? No, no, 47. 29 three stars, one two star. Listen. Brought in a huge transfer class. We love to see that. At the end of the day, we're just trying to get as much talent on the door as we can. Position changes. I think we brought in a couple athletes. We brought in four athletes. Yeah, right. So Jimmy Nischke. This is a guy I think can play safety for us right now. We need guys in the secondary. We really don't recruit that well, so we got to bring him in. DJ Bulaga. We're going to put him at left end. We didn't really recruit that position as well. Well, he's going to start day one there. Mike Lyles, another guy. We, we don't really recruit defense specifically well, so we're going to get another left outside linebacker. I think he can start day one for us. And then Mike Dubois. We're going to put him at fullback. We brought in a lot of fullbacks, but we just want to get good ones that can block because we're just going to move the tight end because we don't really recruit tight end well either got 10 coach points just going to continue to put this toward recruiting training results this is going to be huge oh we're much better we're an 84 overall team we're a two-star program again our top five guys only one is a senior we have a freshman here in jeremiah branson we have had some great development i think we're going to be scary this year if we take a look at the roster best player joshua lloyd senior but other than that, our top five guys are all underclassmen, or not seniors, rather. Max Chosen, the right guard. JT Cadella, the right guard. Gage Grossman, the center. Corner back, Mike Merling. Corner back, Laverius Stanford. Left guard, Omar Wayne. Freshman right outside linebacker, Jeremiah Branson. He needs to develop. We have to hope he stays. And then senior quarterbacks, J.D. Davis and Quinn Hennessel. Sophomore receiver, Cornell Howard's a guy to look forward to. He's going to be great this year, but he's only going to get better. After going through all our red shirts... Let's do our recruiting board. Even though we didn't have the best season, we're going to go after a lot of four-star guys. Going to throw our name in the ring. Going after a middle linebacker, Tim Virgin. Trust me, he comes here. He's not going to be a virgin much longer. Left tackles, Jermaine Moncrief and Greg Malden. Athlete, Bobby Davey. Middle linebacker, Clayton Wake. Right tackles, Titus Slate and Tobias Rochelle. And middle linebacker, JT Pazleski. As well as a bunch of other three-star guys. But I think we have a real big shot at getting some of these guys. Our recruiting tree, we can give up to 80 hours per guy. That's huge. All right, let's take a look at our schedule going into the season. Right now, the only games that Western Michigan has scheduled in their non-conference is at Michigan State at Iowa. The game gave us FCS Midwest, and then it gave us UMass. So that'll be fun. And then our max schedule is at Central Michigan, at Bowling Green, at Buffalo, at home against Northern Illinois and Kent State, at Ball State, at home against Akron and Eastern Michigan, and then at UMass. So we only play what? One, two, three, four. We only play five home games this year. 84 overall team, two-star program. I did have to replace a team with Michigan State because it didn't give me Michigan State. 
But you can look it up. Michigan State's on the schedule. We take down Michigan State and we take down our FCS opponent. When our championship contender moves up to a C, so we like to see that. We get our first commit of, of this year in left tackle Jermaine Moncrief. That's a huge gift for us. And because of the way we've been playing, we're actually getting locked out of Bobby Davey and Titus Slayton. So that's not a good sign. We get another offensive lineman in left tackle Greg Malden. Just continuing to add to the trenches. We love to see that. When we lose to Central Michigan, we move to three and six against our rivals. And our championship contender falls to a C minus. We don't like that. In Titus Slayton, and locks his house. We're going to take him off our board. We are going to add Frederick Monk to our board. We're getting in late, but if we can sneak into that top five, we have a chance. We're also going to add Chuck Ford. If we can get out of him now, I think we have a chance to win the battle for him. We get middle linebacker Bobby Davey. We get middle linebacker Clayton Wake. Middle linebacker is one of the weak positions on our team, so getting them is huge. And with that win, we move to three and two, and our championship contender moves up to C. Our program tradition moves up to a D. We'd love to see that. We're also going to go after Josh Hager. He hasn't even gotten to his top eight, so I think we have a chance to get out on him. If we can get him, he'd be a huge gift for this program. We don't really have a good running game. I mean, this this could be the guy. He's a four-star gem. After that loss, we fall to three and three. Our championship contender falls to a D plus. We don't like to see that. We do like to see JD Davis, 366, two touchdowns, a dynamite game from Davis. Let's take a look at that. Damn, Buffalo just smacked us around. With that win over Northern Illinois, we move to four and three. Our championship contender moves back up to a C. So we'd love to see that, but we got to start stringing some wins together. We get right tackle Tobias Rochelle. That's a huge get for this program. We fall to four and four. Our championship contender falls to a C minus. We do not like to see that. We get four star right guard Frederick Monk. We have revamped the offensive line with this class and we love to see that. With that win over Ball State, we move to five and four. Championship contender moves back to a C. Hopefully we can win some, some of these games coming home. We get four-star strong safety, Chuck Ford. Was it a good week, though? We fall to five and five after losing to Akron. Our championship contender falls to a D. This is not good. Because that loss to Akron, JT Polzeski commits to Kentucky, so we're going to take him off our board. And after we lose to Eastern, Tim Virgin commits to Eastern Michigan, so we're going to take him off our board. We get four-star running back, Josh Kager. That is a huge get for this program. And even though we don't play a game as our bye, finally, we have our bye in week 12. Our cha championship contender moves back up to a C. If we can win this final game, I think we'll be in a good spot. We lose at UMass, fall to five and seven for the third straight year. Championship contender falls to a D, Phoenix exposure falls to a C minus. I mean, listen, we're right on the brink of making a bowl game. I just, I don't, I don't, I, I think we just need more time with this system we have. I mean, we lost both coordinators last season. That's such a tough thing to come back from because of the way we've been playing. Bobby Davey actually locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. The way this season went, our program position falls back down to a D minus. We just, we, we feel like we're stuck at a wall and I don't know how to get over the wall. We've made coordinator changes before. I just don't know if the Mac is getting better or if we need to change what we're doing. I don't know. Going in early National Signing Day, we managed to get a lot of guys that we did want. Jermaine Moncrief at left tackle, halfback Josh Kager, another left tackle in Greg Malden, middle linebacker Clayton Wake, right guard Frederick Monk, right tackle Tobias Rochelle, and strong safety Chuck Ford. Signed some other guys as well. Gonna look at the transfer portal to add some more depth to this class, but we have a good class so far. We got 10 more coach points. Gonna put this toward recruiting. We're almost completely done with the recruiter tree, at which point... We can start working on, I believe I would want to do Motivator. Yeah, I think we would do Motivator. We have some Motivator stuff here, but if we can lock this in and get to like level three here, I think that'd be huge. Our coach prestige, pro potential, and coach stability all fall. That is not a good look. This could be a very tragic... Oh, no. I have four persuasions. Amanu Madden and Dion Chubb, they're gone. Max Chosen, please come back. He's gone. Caleb Labinjo. Oh, this is the one we really don't want to lose. Nathan Ogburn. Oh my God. Do I want to try to go get Graham O'Dwyer or Tommy Wall? Probably Graham O'Dwyer. Oh my God. We lost all seven. Oh my God. That is so brutal. Dude, that is like a sucker punch. Only going to go after a couple guys in the transfer portal. A lot of guys are transferring from here, which kind of sucks. Um, we're going to go after running back Owen Roberts from Michigan State. We beat him. But he was a stud against us. Going after right tackle Roland Morenci and quarterback Clyde Jefferson. We just lost probably our quarterback for the future. He's a freshman. I think he can come in and develop. He might not be our guy right away, but I think he could be one down the road. We get right guard Shaden Quells. Just continuing to add to the class. Hopefully the transfers start to pile in. We get three-star kicker Lawrence Bullitt. Three-star quarterback Clyde Jefferson. Three-star running back Owen Roberts. Starting to cycle in the final guys on this class. Love to see it. We bring in Tracy Godshaw, the center. We bring in right end Isaiah Garland. We brought in a big class of guys that I think can develop on the line. I just don't know how well we're going to be this season, which again, has been the problem we've had a while. We just keep bringing in guys that develop, but they transfer. And such is the struggle of doing a smaller program, right? It's just everybody wants to leave. We bring in a 26-man class. I imagine we're in the 50s somewhere, maybe even lower, but let's see. We're actually at 34, seven four-stars, 18 three-stars.
stars and a two star. We signed a great class. I'm actually really happy with this class. Just got to get the guys to stay, which means we got to start winning games. Let's take a look at position changes. I don't know if we brought in any specific athletes. We brought in two. Ty Kavos, we're going to put him at right end. We really didn't recruit well on the defensive line, but he, could, he can be a guy that can step in right now. And then Jason Luck, this is a guy probably going to play outside, yeah, outside linebacker for us. Got 10 more coach points, almost done with recruiting, and then we can really start hammering the other motivator tree. I love the motivator tree, but recruiting right now, we just, we're bringing in great guys for the, the program we have, but going into the next season, we're actually down to a one-star program. 85 overall, though. This is higher than we've been in years past. Take a look at the team. Gone is J.D. Davis and Quinn Hennessel at quarterback, but even so, man, I don't really know how I feel about any of these guys, man. We were really hoping that we could... Uh, this is going to be tough. At running back, though, we do have Dakota Basher. He's only a sophomore. He's going to be here for a while. We're going to be fine at running back for a long time. And all those years of recruiting a bunch of fullbacks has turned out well. We have Brandon Hearns. He's an absolute stud. He's going to be here for a while. We do have a massive fullback class, but we're under roster anyways because we've been losing so many transfers, so I haven't had to cut anybody. But if we did, I would just cut some of these fullbacks. Wide receiver, Cornell Howard comes back. We also get Brian Calcaterra. They're both juniors. We're actually going to be fine at receiver. This is the deepest we've been in a while. Got some sophomores and freshmen that are in the mid 70s. I think we're going to have a really good receiver room in a couple years. At tight end for the first time in a while we have a really good tight end in Ron Ham and he's only a junior so I think at the end of the day we're gonna be having him for a couple of years we also have Enrique Rodriguez who's only a freshman I think we're gonna have a good tight end room for a minute at left guard gone is Omar Wayne in comes Matt Givens he's a sophomore he's gonna be here for a minute I'm really excited about him at center we ha at center we have Gage Grossman he's a senior don't know how I feel about George Burr definitely gonna red redshirt Tracy Godshaw we might have to go to the transfer portal to find a replacement for Gage Grossman but we'll see at right guard for his senior season JT Cadella we did lose Max Chosen so we don't have his replacements maybe Steven Mears or Frederick Monk who I'm going to redshirt might be the option long term but we might look at the transfer portal for this spot at right end gone is Joshua Lloyd we bring in four true freshmen we're gonna go with Ryder Cooper but we absolutely have to improve with this position going forward at D tech we have Jamie Lafoto he's a senior though I'm hoping Hoping that someone like Josh Hack can develop into our everyday guy. We do have Brian Bloom and Charles York, but we'll see. Might go to the transfer portal just to get more depth. At right outside linebacker, this might be the strongest position on our entire roster. We bring back Jeremiah Branson, but also Jeremy Keys and Santiago Quasia are studs. We're probably going to move one of these guys to Mike and or left outside linebacker. But even so, man, he's only a junior. He's a sophomore. We have Tyler Darisaw, who's a redshirt freshman. We're going to be fine here for a while. At cornerback, we have Mike Merling, but outside of that, we really don't have much, and he's a senior. We're going to have to hammer corner in recruiting. However, at free safety, we're loaded. Jimmy Nitschke, a freshman, Warren Wormack, and Bradley Self are sophomores. Probably gonna move some of these guys to corner, but our free safety position is loaded. All right, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We've been recruiting well, but we haven't been playing well. It's limiting the guys that want to come here, obviously. So we're gonna go after a lot of three stars, starting with left guard Robert Mears, left end Joey Lugo, defensive tackle Gerald Kavka, tight end Robert Fanaka, left guard D'Angelo Maddie, middle linebacker Damian Briscoe, punter Lamar Goodwell, strong safety Morris Rochelle, left tackle Madison O'Malley, right outside linebacker to Montre Folkerts, left end of Mike Ellis, Left outside linebackers Henry Sandy and Jake Hill. Strong safety Joe Quarterman. Middle linebacker Jeff Radigan. Athlete Eric Pope. Left tackle Enrique Duck. And middle linebacker Alani Pack. All right, let's take a look at the schedule going into 2029. So we start the season at number two Michigan. We then play an FCS school. Then we go to Boise State. Those are the two games that are actually on, as of right now, Western Michigan's 2029 schedule. We then start Maction. Well, we play five of our first six games on the road at Miami, Ohio, at Eastern Michigan, at Akron. We host Toledo, host Central Michigan, go to Northern Illinois, come back and host UMass in our final non conference game. Ball State, have our bye, and then host Ohio. So again, one, two, three, four, five. We just placed. Okay. Yes, I did take a team off because we had to play Boise State. Yes, it was Ohio State. I don't give a fuck. I'm so fucking mad. I just realized my gameplay wasn't recording correctly this entire time. You can take a look at the schedule. We went in. I played this game. I went in and played this game myself. Won the game. And what I'm telling you, boys, I won the game on some bullshit. 24 to 21. We're driving. We need a field goal to tie the game like under two minutes to go. I throw a pick on third and 10. They return the ball to like the 11 yard line. I have two timeouts left. I get a stop and they, they kick a field goal. I score with 15 seconds to go. I drive the entire length of the field win the game. It was a great game. Since then, I haven't played in a single game, just been simming and recruiting, won a lot of close games, got a lot of good recruits. I took down both Eastern Michigan and Central Michigan to move our record versus rivals to five and seven. Our next game is at Northern Illinois, UMass Ball State, and then Ohio. I'm actually really pissed off that it, I, damn, this was such a good game, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. But yeah, we're playing well, playing good football. And uh, yeah, let's get back to recruiting. We did add three-star fullback Markeel Ramsey to our board. As you guys have noticed, Recruiting good fullbacks helps this offense a lot, so we really want to continue to do that. We get three-star left end Mike Ellis, three-star center Mike Yates. We're recruiting well in Michigan, which is huge. And after we take down Northern, Northern Illinois, our championship contender moves all the way up to an A-. minus. We'd love to see that. We're going to take Jeff Radigan off our board. He does commit to Boston College, which kind of sucks. 
Really wanted to get him, but obviously not coming here. We are going to add Braylon Uzama to our board. He's a three-star running back out of Frankfurt. I think he could, he's an elusive back. We really don't have that many of those. We need to get higher speed players on the roster. We're going to go after him heavy. We get three-star middle linebacker Eric Pope. We love to see that. We lose to UMass, fall to 9-1. Our championship contender drops to a B plus. We've had a great season so far, but that loss really stings. Alani Pack commits to Indiana, so we're going to take him off our board. We are going to add three-star left guard Eugene Stills to the board. This is a guy I think if we can get on him now, then we have a chance to get him. We need, just need more help on the offensive line. We get a three-star fullback in Markeel Ramsey. I don't think we win this game either. Oh, we do. We take down Ball State. Our championship contender moves back up to an A minus. Playing really good football right now. We get 10 more coach points. Gonna put this all toward recruiting. And now we're completely done with recruiting. Now, unless we can get two top five recruiting classes, I'm really only focused on getting motivated now. We're also gonna add three-star kicker Nicholas Keenan to our board. We don't have a kicker on roster going forward, so we gotta get someone for next year. And unlike, I wish you guys had seen the Michigan game because there was a lot of times we couldn't kick a field goal over like 40 yards. It was unbelievable how bad our kicker is. We take down Ball State, but Madison O'Malley actually commits to Temple, so we're going to take him off our board. We're going to add three-star free safety Caleb Wren to the board. We don't have any free safeties in this class. If we can get him now, I think it'd be huge. We actually have a lot of different injuries right now. One that's really hurt us lately is Santiago Quasio, the dislocated ankle. Again, we got a lot of different guys that are hurt, especially on the offensive line and the def defensive line, that are going to be out for a significant portion of time. But Santiago Quasio, he's a starting right outside linebacker for us. He is a senior. Got a dislocated ankle. He's out for two more weeks. Um, He might be back for the end of the regular season, but if not, he's definitely going to be back for if we make the conference championship game or the bowl game. We actually do have Jeremiah Branson here at this position, so we're going to be fine. Tyler Derisaw is there. We also have Jason Luck moving over from left outside linebacker. Jeremy Keyes is there at right outside linebacker. We moved him to left outside linebacker. Mike Lyles is here. We, I mean, we're good. We're a little thin at, all, at outside linebacker, but we have some guys some here. Branson was kind of a sub linebacker for us. And coming out of the bye, we don't play a game, but we moved to number 23 in the country. If we can take down Ohio, we'll be 11 in one. E easily the best record we've had in this entire rebuild. Even though this game has a huge impact on our season, I'm going to sim it. I don't feel like we've hopped into a lot of big games so i mean at the end of the day i'm pretty confident that i could beat ohio myself but what we're doing rebuilds is to let the cpu handle it because if, if the cpu can beat them then we deserve to win we get three-star running back braylon uzama i don't think we won the game though which is not a good look we do not we fall to 10 and 2 we lose to ohio championship contender falls to a b plus we're going to be taking on central michigan number 24 central michigan in the mac championship we already played central michigan in this video or excuse me in this year and we won that game I think I might hop into the rematch because I didn't play the first one. And because of that loss to Ohio, Joe Quarterman actually commits to Ball State. So we're going to take him off our board. We are going to add another middle linebacker and Frank Sampson. As you've seen, we play a lot of linebackers. So having more good quality ones is huge. We get three-star kicker Sam Volk. Love to see that. Now we have a kicker going forward. And even though we didn't win a game, our championship contender moves up to an A minus. We love to see that. And this was the best year of our rebuild. Our first time winning 10 games. There's no way in hell we're making any changes. I'm glad I stuck with the coordinators we had had over the last couple of years because damn, we had a great year. We are going to add three-star left tackle Emmett Sims to the board. We need more high-quality offensive linemen. This is the guy. Taking on Central Michigan, they are a great team. We did beat them earlier in the season. I simmed that game. At the end of the day, this is our chance. If we can take them down, I think we might be ranked. I don't know if we'll make the playoffs, but let's actually, let's see. Oh, wait, no. So ACC, Big Ten. Basically, the th we need an App State loss and a Florida State loss if we want to have a chance to make the playoffs and a Colorado State loss. So we're probably not going to make the playoffs, but you know, if we can go 11 and 2 in this year, that will put us in a really good spot going forward. Here we go, boys. The Western Michigan Broncos at Ford Field in Detroit, taking on the Central Michigan Chippewas. A chance to win a MAC championship and complete one of our goals. That would be huge. And we would move to 6 and 7 against our rivals. This could be a defining win for this program. And without Stadium Pulse, got him. Get there. Get there! Uh, kind of a bad throw by Lester Vickerson, but we'll take it. We're going to go back to the Jet touchback going to the opposite side. Calcaterra with a huge run. catch. Get out there. Spin move! Oh, Dylan Fong. Or Ryan Fong. I keep calling him Dylan Fong. I know his name is Ryan. Basher, let's see if we can hand this off. They got a lot of meat in there. Ooh, give me a couple. We'll take it. We'll take a nice four yards on that. Dakota Vasher has been a great addition to this team. This is a touchdown, by the way. Uh, apparently not because I'm a fucking moron. Uh, four and three. We're going to take our field goal. Just kidding. We're going to see if we can get some points on the board here. We're going to be aggressive. Got to hold on to it. Needed it. We're going to put this ball in the hands of Hearns. We're going to try a nice fullback dive. Haven't done that much. Let's go! We take a 7-0 lead in the MAC championship. Third and four. We got to get a stop here. I'm on Merling. Our stud DB. Oh, draw. Oh, great tackle. Fourth and one. They're going to take their three. Just kidding. They're going for it. If this is a run, I'm flying. Oh, it's not a run. Dude, what the f- Oh, no way. 
No way! Oh my god. To put the ball on the ground again in the hands of Dakota Vasher. That's crazy they scored there. Great job by our left guard to get off that block. Gonna sit in cover three here. If we can get a stop, I think they're gonna punt us the ball. I'm on Quasia. Third and four. Oh, it's not a... Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a great play action. But great job by our defense staying home. Great job by Lester Vigerson to stay in there. He got lit up. Ryan Fong has been nothing short of spectacular. Damn, I got sacked. Couldn't get the ball off. No, no. Oh my God, I thought the linebacker was gonna drop on that. All right, we'll see if we can just get into field goal range. Dude, we didn't get anything. I lost the yard on that play. I'm doing something stupid, man, I'm going for this. We're at the 50, if they get points out of this, they get points out of this. What a ball by, what a ball by Lester Vickerson! Joshua Muhammad, we needed him most. Nice catch, big fella. Gotta have it, nice job, Ryan Fong! All right, Vasher, Dakota Vasher, take us home. Dakota Vasher gives the Broncos a two touchdown lead. And I'll be honest, boys, we smoke Central Michigan. So we actually moved to six and seven against our rivals. We're one win away from being 500. We win a MAC championship, so we complete that goal. Dakota Vasher, 111 rushing yards on 15 attempts with three touchdowns. A dominant game from Dakota. We needed it all, too. And uh, yeah, we took down Central Michigan, won the MAC. And uh, I don't think we'll make the playoffs, but we'll have a really good bowl. Our team got much better. We can see the ceiling on this team. And we're going to have a lot more going for us, going forward. And with that, we win our first MAC championship. We finally complete a goal for the video. Love to see that. It's a long shot, but, you know, let's see if we make the playoffs. We get three-star left guard, Eugene Stills. Love to see that the recruiting is going well still. Our championship contender falls to a B plus, even when we win the MAC. But our program tradition goes up to a C minus, so that's good to see. Dakota Basher wins the MAC offensive of the weekend in Central Michigan. Of course, dominant game from Dakota. And so with that, we're we're not going to make the playoffs. But at the end of the day, we've been 11-2. We get a three-star kicker in Nicholas Keenan, three-star free safety in Caleb. Ren. Recruiting is going well. We're going to have a lot more stuff in the transfer portal. And we love to see that. And we're taking on Kansas in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Again, we don't make the playoffs, but at the end of the day, 11 and 2 for this team. You know, we had some big wins. We took down Michigan, Central Michigan, and Eastern Michigan. We took down every Michigan school except for Michigan State this year. We love to see that. And so let's take a look at early national signing day. We got a big class, right? Left guard Robert Mears, left end Joy Lugo, defensive tackle Gerald Kavka, athlete Mike Yates, tight end Rodney Fanaka, kicker Sam Volt, halfback Braylon Nuzama, fullback Markel Ramsey, free safety Caleb Wren, left guards D'Angelo Maddie and Eugene Stills, kicker Nicholas Keenan, middle linebacker Damian Briscoe, punter Lamar Goodwell, strong safety Mars Rochelle, left end Mike Ellis, athlete Eric Pope and left tackle Enrique Duck. We signed a big class. We're only going to get more guys in the transfer portal. The way we played, we might get a lot higher talent there. And we went 11 and 2. Man, I'm not going to touch our coordinators. These guys had a great season. We finally figured it out on defense and on offense. Hopefully we can build on that going into next season. And even though it's our first bowl game in a while, I'm going to send the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. This doesn't really have that big of an impact on our program, so I'm going to send this one. And we actually take down Kansas in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. We moved to 12-2. and two. It's going to be hard to top this season. Brian Calcaterra, five receptions, 85 yards, two touchdowns, MAC Offensive Player of the Week. Love to see it. Let's take a look at this game. Beat them by four, 85 yards, two touchdowns. Crazy game from Calcaterra. Love it. Love to see it. And so at the end of the season, our pro potential moves up to a B minus. Conference prestige moves up to a C minus. Coach stability moves up to an A. Coach prestige moves up to an A. We were a one star program at the beginning of last season. We're two and a half stars. We're only 84 overall. Uh, so the team did go down just a little bit, but we haven't brought in any of the transfers we're going to go after. We haven't done through training results. This is going to be a huge off season. We get three star middle linebacker Frank Sampson. Again, just continuing to recruit well into the off season. We love to see it. Players leaving. Now we're going to have a bunch of guys graduating, but we don't have anybody transferring. That is huge. Unfortunately, Lester Vickerson is gone. He was a stud for us last season. We're also losing right outside linebacker Santiago Quasia, right guard JT Cadella, center Gage Grossman, and cornerback Mike Merling. We're losing a lot of high impact guys. We're really going to have to hope training results goes crazy this offseason. Going to go after a decently sized transfer portal class. Starting off three-star corner Ben Nakeman out of Nevada. Three-star left outside linebacker Clayton Snodgrass out of Boston College. Three-star left tackle Malachi Potts out of Iowa. This is a guy that I think could help us right away. Running back Andre Ogbogbemiga. I honestly don't know how to pronounce his name. He's going to be Andre from here on out. But he's out of BYU. Getting any power five running back. We need more help at running back. We wanted a lot of multiple back sets. Having more running backs would be huge. Quarterback Josh Diamond. We just lost Desmond Vickers. He's a guy from South Carolina. He's a junior he's coming to help us right now. If we don't get him, quarterback Devin Rhodes out of Arizona would be good. We're looking at another left tackle in Delvin Body out of Texas State. But the crown jewels of this class, right outside linebacker Contavious Clawson out of Iowa and right end Richard Kane out of East Carolina. These are two guys that would come in right away. Clawson's a sophomore, Kane's a junior. These guys come in right now and probably be two of the best players on the team. Also looking at middle linebacker Matt Pride out of Marshall and two more wide receivers in George Connors out of Clemson and wide receiver JT Childers out of Western Kentucky. We could get half of these guys. We'll be in such a good spot. We get four-star right end Richard 
Kane and four star right outside linebacker Quintavious Clausen, the two gems we needed. All right, so we get 10 more coach points. Just gonna keep putting this sort of motivator, right? We wanna get off season training boost. I think that's gonna happen this because right, we're about to be training, so I just want to get as much as I can toward that. Yeah, we haven't done the training yet at all, so that's going to be huge. National Signing Day, we got the two guys we wanted, right? The transfers and Rashard Kane and Quintavious Clausen. Let's take a look at the class. Where were we in the class? I imagine we're uh, probably in the 30s or 40s again. Yeah, 39, two four stars, 27 three stars. We had a one star in there. I uh, just needed more cornerback depth, but listen. After the season we just had, recruiting the way we did, I'm so happy. At the end of the day, we should be good this year. Position-wise, we brought in two athletes, Mike Yates out of Flint, Michigan. We're going to put him at right end. He's a guy I think he can start right away. And then same with Eric Pope. Going to put him at left outside linebacker. We don't have much depth there. I think he could be a guy that starts right away. Going into next season, we're in 86 overall. We love to see that. I think it's the highest we've been, if not in this entire video, in recent memory. We have some 90 overalls for the first time in tight end Enrique Rodriguez, who's only a sophomore, and halfback on Robert who's a junior so at the end of the day we got some studs on offense going into next season we're actually an 87 overall let's take a look at the team here enrique rodriguez is an absolute stud at tight end he's only a sophomore we don't have to worry about replacing him for a long time and running back old roberts he's developed he's only a junior so there's a chance he comes back too and then obviously sophomore jimmy nitschke he has continued to develop he's an absolute stud at free safety out of detroit we have our three cornerstones for our team at fullback, we got Brandon Hearns, and then we have another sophomore in Mike Dubois. We're going to be fine here. Wide receiver, we have a litany of options. We got a couple seniors in Brian Calcaterra and Cornell Howard, as well as senior George Connors. But even in the junior spots, we have Joel Fajoko and JT Childress. We got a freshman here in Alani Teo and Mantra Kennedy, who we're going to develop. We're going to be fine here. At left guard, Matt Givens, only a junior. He's going to continue to develop. He's going to be a stud next year. Gade Grossman is gone, so we really have a committee at center between George Bird, the junior, center Rico Truman, and freshman Tracy Godshaw. This is going to be interesting. I probably bring in more people to help at this position, either in recruiting or from the transfer portal, because I'm not really sold on center. Gone is JT Cadella, but we do have George Terrell, the sophomore, and the freshman Frederick Monk. We're going to be fine at right guard for a while. At defensive tackle, gone is Jamie LaFoto, but we have two guys in Josh Hack and Brian Bloom who I feel really comfortable with. We're going to be fine here. And then at right outside linebacker, we have a litany of options. Senior Jeremy Keys, but even so, we have Jeremiah Branson, Tyler Darisaw, Quintavia is Clawson. We got a lot of linebackers. At cornerback, this is going to be a dangerous spot. Dangerous. We don't have Mike Merling. Our best cornerback is Danny LeBeau. These guys are kind of bums in Dom Epps and Malik Avery. We got to get cornerback help immediately. We do have a lot of free safeties, right? Obviously, Jimmy Nitschke, and we're going to probably move a lot of these guys to corner. I mean, this, I mean, we just can't play those guys at corner. After going through red shirts, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We had a fantastic season last year. We're going to go after a lot of four stars this year. Starting with Cordell Gordon, this is a guy that could replace Jimmy Nischke down the line. Right guard, Jamison Carr. Tight end, David Awuzie. This is a guy that could replace Enrique Rodriguez down the line. Right guard, Nolan Donahue. Strong safety, Brian Amatova. Right tackle, Kiki Akapakawuguruki. I don't know how to pronounce that fucking dude's name. Right tackle, Kiki. Center, Sherrod Zacchaeus. Left guard, Troy Carlisle. Right end, Marvin Tavares. Defensive tackle, John Odiangbo. Right outside linebacker, Tyler Calcaterra. Wide receiver, David. That well. Strong safety one, Darisal, right end of Marinati, right tackle Oscar Quintana, cornerback Ronnie Quails, wide receiver Tony Bram, cornerback Larry Togafau, wide receiver Marco Marcook, cornerbacks Josh Benito and Quincy Adebo, another tight end in Jimmy Morris, second replace Enrique Rodriguez, and left outside linebacker Rashad Robinson. Let's get to work. Let's take a look at the 2030 schedule. Currently, Western Michigan only has one game scheduled, and it's this game at FIU. Auto generated gave us the game against number two Michigan again, and FCS school and coastal. I did have to replace Indiana to put them on here because it actually put Indiana instead. It is what it is, right? Coastal. FCS at number two Michigan, our first buy at FIU, our final buy, and then we start MAC play at Kent State at home against Eastern and Buffalo, at Central Michigan at home against Bowling Green, at Ohio and Toledo, and then finally we come back, take on Miami of Ohio. Again, we really have a tough schedule to start. Not playing Coastal, they're a good team. At Michigan's never going to be fucking easy. But yeah, if we can get a good start this season, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. Even though it's only week two, we're going to be able to start scheduling visits. I think we're going to schedule a couple of our visits against Eastern. They're a rivalry game. They're the best team we play at home, so that has the best chance of getting recruits. We start the season off 1-0 with a win against Coastal Carolina, but our change contender falls to a B. Our program just falls to a D plus, but our stadium atmosphere goes up to a D plus. I don't really understand that, but whatever. We will start doing hard sells, so we're going to switch David Awuze over that, and we're going to continue to do that with our recruits. And against FCS Northwest, Josh Hack, three sacks, five tackles, a huge game from Hack. Mac defense player of the week, love to see that. Our first game of the season we're going to hop into is Michigan. Listen, I understand I play this game a lot, but at the end of the day, if we can take down Michigan, we have a real chance to make the playoffs. And if we have a chance to make the playoffs, that would be huge for this program. Got to get a stop here on third down. Got to bring some pressure. I'm on Ray Nitschke. Or excuse me, I'm on Jimmy Nitschke. Got him. Let's go. Fourth and four. Gonna hold no field goal here. Gonna bring some more pressure. Michigan is driving. We gotta get a stop here. Oh, they got a couple yards on that, damn. We gotta hold strong defense. I'm on Pullard. If we can hold no field goal, that'd be huge here. Great job, defense. One more. 
Dying. Oh, he blocked it. He knocked it out. We hold no field goal here. That would be huge. Hey, defense. Ben, not break. We love to see it. Offensively, we got to get something going. We, we have not been able to move the ball on offense at all against this Michigan defense. Oh. Dude, whoa. That dude is fast. Jason Rowland. Holy shit. He had a speed boost. I'm on pride again. Here we go. We got to have some pride on defense. Get there! Got him myself. Oh my god. We gotta hold him again. This would be huge if we can hold him one more time. Get there! Nice job, defense! Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. Here we go. One... Oh, two-minute warning. It's already the fucking second quarter? Gotta get one more stop on defense, boys. I'm on wake. I'm flying down. Great job! Let's go! Our offense has done nothing this game. We have to get some points on the board here. I need a block there. I need a block there. I don't want to get a safety, so I'm just... If we can get out of the end zone. Give me a couple. We'll take it. Third and four. Got it. Got it! Great blocking! There we go! Josh Diamond has played terrible, honestly, this game, but... Gotta lock in now. Got him. Great job. Got him. Got him! Fahoko! Stay on your feet! Joel Fahoko! With a fantastic catch! Got him. To him! And Western Michigan takes the lead! I forgot the routes already. Gotta get out of there. Got him. Another one! Let's go to Childress! Third and three. Offensively, we're playing well. Gotta see if we can hit with the play action here. Get across, get across, get across, get across, get across! Great job! Great job, Josh Diamond! Oh my god. Childress has made some incredible grabs. Let's try to put the ball on the ground here. I'm gonna hand this off to Owen Roberts. Yeah, I probably could have pulled that, but this Michigan defense is stout. Owen Roberts is hurting right now, boys. We gotta, we gotta hope we can pull this in without him. Oh, I thought I had I gotta lob that. We're gonna take our three here. We're gonna go up 11. Our defense has played good. Our offense has come alive. Just gotta keep it up. And I'll be honest, guys, we went up 17 to six and never really looked back. The game was always at least 10 points ahead. I'm shocked how well we played. We started off sluggish, but our offense really came alive. Josh Diamond played fantastic. 277, three touchdowns, did have the pick, but Diamond with a dynamite game, we needed it all. Joel Fajoko had some great receptions, especially early on in the game. We just saw both of them there. I mean, he played great. Joel had a giant game for us. We take down Michigan two years in a row. I didn't even schedule Michigan this time. I think I scheduled him last year, but that's huge. Going into our first bye, Junior Clayton Snodgrass has a dislocated ankle. He's out for five weeks. That is not a good look. He's going to miss a lot of this season. We are going to be fine here. We, we just moved Jeremy Keyes over to left outside linebacker. We also have Tyler Derrissaw and Quintavious Clawson here. We're going to be fine here. And then again, obviously at right outside linebacker, Jeremiah Branson, Quintavious Clawson, Mike Lyles. We got a lot of guys here. We're a little thin, but we get our first commit of the year in four-star tight end David Awuzie. We had another commit in four-star Brian Amatova. Another commit in four-star right guard Jamison Carr. We love to see that. Coming out of our bar, our championship contender moves up to a B plus. We love to see that. We're playing really good football so far. We got to keep it up. Because of our playing style, we're actually locked out of John Odingbo, so we really have to get better on defense. We actually lose to FIU. We fall to three and one. Our championship contender falls to a B. Don't love to see that, but they're a tough team. We do have 10 more coach points. Going to put this toward motivator. Love to have our guys develop higher. Jimmy Nitschke, we're in our second bye, our final bye of the season. Jimmy Nitschke has a complete PCL tear. He's out for a damn near a calendar year. Going to miss the rest of this season. He's one of the best players on this team. That is a huge loss for this team. Damn. I actually fucking sucks. We are fine at free safety. We have Warren Warmack, the junior, who's going to step up. We also have Bradley Self or Leo Tracy. We'll probably rotate all three of these guys, but damn, that sucks. He's legitimately one of the best players on our team, one of the best players in the country. We do get another free safety in Cordell Gore, which is huge. We'd love to see that. And even though we don't win, we come out of the buy. Our championship contender moves back up to a B plus. We'd love to see that. Juan Darius commits to USC, so we're going to take him off our board. We lack a lot of talent at receiver. We're going to go with Dylan Rosenfels. If we can get it on him now, I think we, he could be a huge piece for us. We get four star right tackle Kiki Oak Pokaruku. I don't know how to pronounce his name, man. It's Oak Pak Oruk. Oak Pak Oruk? We're going to call him Kiki. Absolute stud. Need him at right tackle. Going to love having him on the team going forward. We take down, I believe, Miami, Ohio. No. We took down Toledo or Akron. I don't remember who we played. We moved to 4 and 1, our championship contender, or excuse me, our stadium atmosphere moves up to a C minus. We'd love to see that. And Josh Hack, three sacks, three tackles to TFL. A huge game from Hack. Mac, Defensive Player of the Week against Kent State. That's what it was. Take a look at that game. Yeah, five tackles, three sacks, a huge game from Hack. I'd love to see that. Oscar Quintana commits to Kentucky, so we're going to take him off our board. And Ronnie Qualls commits to Michigan. I don't know why he'd commit there. We just beat them. But 
whatever. We're going to add a couple of centers in Monty Tanner and Jake Roberg. This is the weakest position on our offensive line. We got to upgrade this. We get four star center Sherrod Zacchaeus. I don't think we won this game though. We take it down Eastern Michigan, and that's huge for two reasons. One, we moved to five and one on the season, the number 24 team in the country. But even more importantly, we moved to seven and seven against our rivals. We need a 500 or better record. We have one game left against our rivals this season. And you can take a look at the score. We absolutely throttled Eastern Michigan. Nolan Donahue decides to go to Iowa, so we're gonna take him off our board. We're gonna add another center to our board, Dom Rita. At the end of the day, we need to throw as many darts at the board as we can at center. He's going to be a guy we're going to go after. Take it on Buffalo. See how this one goes. We get four-star right outside linebacker Tyler Calcaterra. I don't know if we win the game, though. That's not a good look. We didn't. We fall 5-2 and two against Buffalo. Let's take a look at this game. We fall to Buffalo by 6. Just really couldn't get the offense going. Diamond, yeah, Diamond did not play well. Ran the ball okay. Uh, Receiving-wise, yeah, really spread it around, but just, I guess it was the defense really didn't do that much. Yeah, didn't force a turnover. Only had two sacks. <sighs> Damn, okay. I mean, Buffalo's a good team. All right, we got a lot of opportunities left to prove ourselves. We got three games on the road still. We got to play well the rest of the season. After that loss to Buffalo, Troy Carlisle actually commits to Michigan, so we're going to take him off our board. We're going to take a bunch of guys off our board. Tony Bram commits to Wisconsin. Larry Togafu commits to Northwestern. Marco Marcouk commits to Wisconsin. Josh Benito commits to Middle Tennessee. Quincy Adebo commits to Illinois. Anthony Allen locks us out. Jimmy Norris commits to Pitt. And Rashard Robinson commits to Kansas State. So we're going to take all those guys off our board. We're going to add free safety Lloyd Semple to the board. Again, we just need more help in the secondary. We saw how bad it is when we lose our top guys. Jimmy Nischke's out for the season. Got to get more guys in the building. We actually fall to Central Michigan. Our record versus our rivals falls to 7-8. and eight, And our championship contender falls to a B-minus. We don't like to see that. Richard Kane, two snacks, six tackles, two TFLs. A killer game from Kane, but it wasn't enough, even though he is the MAC defensive player of the week. We lose by three. Yeah, the offense is really struggling right now. John Odingbo commits to Ohio, so we're going to take him off our board. Center George Delgado locks us out, so we're going to take him off our board. We're going to go after four-star red and Villamy Fellow. We need to Short up the trenches, and he's a guy I think could help us right now. We get four star wide receiver Dylan Rosenfels. We'd love to see that. Even though we take down Bowling Green, Marvin Tavares commits to Minnesota, so we're going to take him off our board. And again, even though we beat Michigan, David Antwell commits to Michigan, so we're going to take him off the board. Amari Nadi commits to Ole Miss, so we're going to take him off the board. We get four star center Jake Roberg. We'd love to see that, continuing to build up the trenches. We take down Ohio, and we move to a B championship contender, 7 3. We'd love to see that. And Josh Diamond, 319 with five touchdowns. A dynamite game from Diamond. We needed it. Let's take a look at that one. We take down Ohio. 52 to 7. We absolutely obliterate Ohio. I'd love to see that. Also, had a rushing touchdown. That's huge. Diamonds played pretty good this season, right? But got to be more consistent. We take down Saludo, move to 8 and 3. Our championship contender moves up to a B. Plus. We'd love to see that. We get another four star center in Monty Tanner and Dom Brita. We're probably going to move some of those guys out of center, but we love getting high quality offensive linemen. And with that win over Miami, we actually moved to 9 and 3, the number 21 team in the country. Let's take a look at the MAC conference standings. And unfortunately, we're actually not going to be playing for the conference championship which is kind of upsetting but that means we're not gonna have a chance to make the playoffs but again another good season we get four star free safety lloyd semple we want to get as many guys in the secondary as we can we love to see that and we actually moved to an a minus championship contender even though we don't play a game love to see that i'm actually gonna make a kind of a seismic move i'm gonna fire cam mcfadden and I just, I don't like the way that the offense has been playing. We've been leaning a lot on our defense. Coach Bart Meeks has had that defense moving. And at the end of the day, I think we can get a better offensive coordinator. We're going to be taking on the Texas State Bobcats in the 60 Avengers Bowl. I assume we don't have a Heisman finalist. Yeah, we don't. We do get 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward motivator. Love to see this. Taking a look at early national signing day, we went and got a lot of guys. Free safety, Cardell Gore. Right guard, Jamison Carr. Wide receiver, Dylan Rosenfels. Centers, Monty Tanner and Jake Roberg. Tight end, David Awuzie. Strong safety, Brian Amatova. Right tackle, Kiki Akwaruku. You know, I'm never going to get that name right. Right tackle, Kiki. Center, Sherrod Zanke. Is right outside linebacker, Tyler Calcaterra. Center, Dom Brita. And free safety, Lloyd Semples. Now, we're still working on some other guys, but that's the class right now. Looking for a new offensive coordinator, the guy that comes to me right away, Conrad Shazier, the offensive coordinator at Army, does run an option scheme, but he has a central Florida pipeline, and his talent tree is unreal. All the motivator and tactician boosts, this could be huge for us. I've actually never seen someone above like a 25 in this. I'm going to hire Conrad Shazier. We're going to sit in the 60 Avengers Bowl. Doesn't really matter how we do in this game. We do get four star right end, Villamy Falou. Love to see that. And we win the 60 Avengers Bowl. Love to see that back to back years winning bowl games. That's huge for this program. Cornell Howard, the senior wide receiver, seven receptions, 83. Three yards, two touchdowns. The Mac offensive play of the week. Huge game from Howard in his final game as a Western Michigan Bronco. We'd love to see that. And we do get Conrad Shazier from Army. Our offense is going to have a new look. 
Love to see it. And against Texas State, a 30-yard rush, 83 receiving yards, two touchdowns. We needed all of it from Cornell Howard. Love to see that. Ran the ball pretty well. Josh Diamond, Owen Roberts had 34 yards and a touchdown. Receiving-wise, Childress had 88 yards and a touchdown. Cornell Howard, again, 83 yards and two touchdowns of his own. Defensively, just played really solid. Only had one sack from DJ Bulaga, but we played really well as a team. I'm really proud of the way this team finished the season. We're going to have a new offense going into next year. I'm really excited for that. Even though we finished the season number 17, with a bowl win, 10-3, our pro potential actually falls to a C. Our conference prestige does jump up to a C. We like to see that. But because we fired our offensive coordinator, our coach stability falls to an A-. minus. So, you know, not a bad start to the offseason, but we do have some guys at risk of transferring that we don't want to lose. Taking a look at players leaving, this could be huge. Ooh, Chuck Ford. We don't like to see this. Uh, and we're going to lose Josh Kager, a freshman. Oh, we don't like to see either of these. So we lose both those guys. On top of that, we do have a lot of a couple seniors graduating that are high impact players, but damn, that's going to set stings. It's never good to lose sophomores and freshmen. That's that sucks. All right, so in the transfer portal, we're gonna go after a bunch of defensive guys, starting with Khalid Hills, a defensive tackle out of Missouri, cornerback Dexter Pope out of Western Kentucky, right outside linebacker Trevor Treggs out of Central Michigan, another right outside linebacker in Ofisa Peter Tua out of Iowa State, defensive tackle Tyree McCracken out of Charlotte, middle linebacker JR Warrior, elite name. We need him out of Louisville. An offensive lineman in right guard Elijah Durant from Syracuse, left end Jalen Bono from Vanderbilt, defensive tackle Sam Paxson from Florida State, and right outside linebacker Kenyon Cheeks out of Florida State. Florida State losing a lot of guys on their defense if we can pick them up that'd be huge for us we unlocked master motive we'd love to see that shout out i think we had that means we had one guy get drafted this past year we get three-star left end jalen bono three-star cornerback dexter pope that's a big one another three-star defensive tackle and tyree mccracken three-star right outside linebacker trevor treggs got a lot of guys show up this defense that's huge and we're also going to add wide receiver jamar sap out of colorado state and strong safety javier basanez out of boston college get some more receiver help would be huge only a sophomore he develop as well and then Javier Basana would come in and help us right away. We're also going to add quarterback Isaiah Donerson from Nevada on the board. He's only a freshman, so he can develop. He might be the guy in the future. We get three-star right guard Elijah Durant, three-star right outside linebacker Kenyon Cheeks, three-star middle linebacker J.R. Warrior. That's an electric name. We love that. We get three-star fullback Emmanuel Cantrell, three-star defensive tackle Khalid Hills, three-star wide receiver Jamar Sapp, three-star kicker Villamy Fox, three-star fullback Tyron Moffat. We got a big class. I wonder how this is going to do for our recruiting. Taking a look at National Signing Day, we had a massive class. Cordell Gore, the high school prospect. Free safety, he's a stud. Easily the best player in our class. Brought in a transfer in Jalen Bono, a freshman. Right guard in James Carr. And then here come the litany of transfers. Dexter Pope, Elijah Durant, Tyree McCracken, Trevor, Trevor Treggs. Another high schooler in Dylan Rosenfels. Another transfer in Kenyon Cheeks. High schooler Monty Tanner. Transfers J.R. Warrior and Khalid Hills. And then high schoolers in Jake Roberg, David Awuzie, Brian Amatova, Kiki Akporukwe. Kiki. Shiraz Zacchaeus transfers Jamar Sapp and Isaiah Donerson. More high schoolers in Tyler Calcaterra, Dom Brita, Lloyd Semple, and Villamy Falou. We had a massive class. Let's take a look at the classes. Again, I didn't imagine us being in the top 20. 27, 13 four stars, 15 three stars, and a two star. We love that. We're just continuing to add a lot of talent to this team. And in the MAC, that's huge. Taking a look at position changes, we brought in an athlete in Kane Shazier. Go to put him at right end. We just need to continue to add people to the trenches. Got 10 more coach points. Gonna put this toward linebackers. We need to get these guys upgraded and we're really close to getting an off-season training boost for linebackers and quarterbacks that would be huge taking a look at training results wow we have a lot on that we're an 89 overall team 90 offense 89 defense we have a lot of talent on this team holy shit we start the season off as a 91 overall the a preseason top 25 team still two and a half star program we do have a, a, some guys at risk of transferring that i don't like but a 91 overall that's a huge start for this team at running back we still have own roberts but we brought in a junior transfer in juan hawkins so even after this year we're going to be loaded at running back we're probably the deepest at wide receiver we've been in this entire rebuild jt soldiers is an absolute stud we also have senior joel fahoko they're both going to be gone but even even so we have sophomore alani teo we have true freshman dylan rosenfels who's going to develop into a stud we got some other juniors in here we're going to be fine at wide receiver tight end enrique rodriguez is a stud he's still only a junior so he's going to be back next year we do have david awuzie and roddy finaka we got some great tight end depth going forward at left guard we have senior matt gibbons so he's going to be gone but even behind him sophomore jaron mangum and junior daryl seagal we got some great left guard tip. We're going to be fine. Opposite guard, we have junior right guard George Terrell. He's going to be back for his senior season, but even if he's not, we have Shane Qualls, Frederick Monk, Elijah Durant. Even this year, we have Steven Mears. We're not going to need him, but damn, we got a lot of talent at right guard. And then at right tackle, we have junior Tobias Rochelle. We also have junior Rudy Nagy, and we brought in Kiki. He's a true freshman. We are loaded offensive line. At left end, we have seniors DJ Belaga and Dennis Linder. They're both going to be gone, but we still have sophomore Jalen Bono we just brought in. We're going to be fine here. At free safety, we do have Jimmy Nitschke. He's back for his junior season. He is is still hurt. I imagine he'll be hurt for just a little bit of this season, but he's a stud, right? So we're going to be fine here. 
After doing our red shirts, let's take a look at recruiting. With the seasons we've been having, we're just going to continue to go after a lot of four-star talent, starting off with Stephen Bohannon, quarterback Dalton Lamar, left outside linebackers Juan Lamar and Dexter Ringo, strong safety Quentin Warren, quarterback Ben Boyett, tight end Dexter Perryman, right tackles Felix Beatty and Ken Pollock, left tackle John Escalante, defensive tackle Emmanuel Matabique, right outside linebacker Devin Timms, left guards Glenn Bryce and Forrest Tompkins, running back Tavares Tiffin, receivers John Babbers and Brent Neal, left tackle Zach Barnes, left end Geo Broyles, and running back Taylor Trapuka. We're going after a lot of these guys. Let's get to it. All right, taking look at our schedule we actually start at michigan state we have an fcs school we host georgia southern and we go to north texas so of those four non-conference games these three are actually all scheduled the only one that isn't is fcs northwest i did replace a game against cal for this game because it Georgia Southern wasn't available week two. So that does kind of stink. But then we start matching, right? We go to Miami, Ohio. We go to Eastern Michigan. We go to Akron, right? Three straight road MAC games. We come back, take on Toledo and Central Michigan at home. We go to Northern Illinois and we host Ball State in Ohio. So we actually have two buys in the last four weeks of the season. So if we can get to week 11 in a good spot, we're going to have a lot of rest. We have six home games, six away games. This is going to be a fun schedule. This is not going to be easy. Michigan State, that's going to be a brutal game. Even though it's only week two, we can start scheduling visits. Dalton Lamar, this is a guy we absolutely have to have. I'm going to schedule him for a game against Ball State. That's a huge game for us. Clyde Jefferson against FCS Northeast. Four touchdowns, 308 yards. The MAC Offensive Player of the Week. We love to see that. It would beat the hell out of FCS Northwest. Crazy game from Clyde. 18-24, 304 passing yards and four passing touchdowns. 44 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Just crazy stuff from Clyde. We get four-star quarterback Dalton Lamar. We love to see that. That's probably the quarterback of the future. A four-star gem. Joel Fajoko, a fantastic game. Seven receptions, 173 yards, three touchdowns against Georgia Southern. The MAC Offensive Player of the Week. Let's take a look at that game. 35 to 20, a fantastic game from Fajoko. Needed that one. We get four star left outside linebacker Juan Lamar. Another four star strong safety in Stephen Bohannon. We need to get another four star strong safety in Quentin Warren. Got a lot of good defensive guys in that week. That's huge. Four star left tackle Josh Escalante commits to Miami, so we're going to take him off the board. And Emmanuel Mata Week Week locks us out, so we're going to take him off the board. We're going to add four star center Kwabena Kalu to the board. He is from Green Bay. We need need more centers. We added a lot of them, but we can't have too many good offensive linemen. Also going to add four-star right tackle Cameron Daniel. We just lost out on one of them, so we're going to add him to our board. If we can get him, that'd be huge for us. We get another four-star quarterback in Ben Boyett. And after that win against Miami, Ohio, we actually moved back to the top 25 fucking bug or something four and one number 25 we'd love to see that let's take a look at this game and because of playing time dalton lamar actually decommits and locks us out that's actually not good i didn't realize that his having another quarterback in ben boy was going to knock him out that sucks we're going to take him off the board we get four star left outside linebacker dexter ringo four star tight end dexter perryman love adding to these positions this is huge and our championship contender moves up to an a we move up to number 22 in the country that's huge for us and after that win against eastern we actually moved to eight and eight versus our rivals. That's a huge win for this program. Right outside linebacker Devin Times commits to Purdue, so we're going to take him off the board. Left guard Glenn Bryce commits to Oklahoma, so he's gone. Forrest Tompkins commits to Oregon, so we're going to take him off the board. We are going to go after right guard Nate Biggers. We just lost a lot of guards. If we can get him, that'd be huge for us. Tavares Tiffin commits to Michigan, so we're going to take him off our board. Left tackle Brent Neal commits to Ohio State, so he's gone. Left end Geo Broyles commits to LSU, so we're going to take him off the board. Taking on Akron, this is, we just got to keep playing well in Max, and we're on the road for our next two games. Got to win some of these. We move up to number 19 in the country after that win against Akron. Let's take a look at that game. Frank Sampson, two interceptions, six tackles, the, the Mac Defensive Player of the Week at middle linebacker. Spectacular game from Sampson. We beat them 40 to 13, seven tackles, two picks, two fumble recoveries and a force fumble holy cow what a spectacular game played really well just the whole game Juan Hawkins ran for 89 yards and a touchdown Dakota Vasher Dakota Vasher 69 yards and a touchdown love to see that Alani Taylor the sophomore 117 yards and a touchdown Joel Fajoko 89 yards and a touchdown of his own didn't allow a sack love to see that defensively three picks between Frank Sampson and Malika Brayu didn't have a sack it's kind of alarming but Played really well in the secondary, so we'd love to see that. Taking on Toledo, our first home game in a while. Hopefully, we can get some momentum, and hopefully, the fans can help us with this one. We get four-star right tackle Felix Beatty. Love to see that. Just continuing to add to the trenches. Our brand exposure moves up to a C+. Plus. We move to the number 16 team in the country. Let's take a look at that game. Right end, Ty Cabas, those three sacks, four tackles. The MAC defensive player of the week against Toledo. Let's take a look at that game. 45 to nothing, four tackles, three sacks. A crazy game from Cabazos. Running wise, 56 yards for Owen Roberts, 19 for Juan Hawkins, and a touchdown. Wow. Receiving wise, JT Childress led the team with 161 yards, two touchdowns. Fajoko, 85 yards and a touchdown. Or excuse me, two touchdowns. Alani Teo, 79 yards and a touchdown. Did allow two sacks for Moncrief and Tobias Rochelle, but defensively, we had a pick from Brian Amatova. 
Ty Cobb with those three sacks, two sacks for Dennis Linder, a half sack for LeBeau, York, Frank Sampson, and Morris Rochelle. We were everywhere on defense. We did add four-star record, but Odom to the board. We need to get more offensive linemen just in case of injuries, and he's someone that could help us right away. Taking on Central Michigan, if we can win this game, we'll move to nine and eight against our rivals. We needed a winning record versus them. This would be the hugest, biggest game of everything. We get running back Taylor Chapuka. I don't know if we got the win against Central Michigan, though. We do not. We lose to Central Michigan. Fault eight, nine versus our rivals. And fault to number 23 in the country. We do not like to see that. That's that's tough. Even in the loss against Central Michigan, Dennis Linder, six tackles, four TFLs. Let's take a look at this game. I don't know how we lost this game playing that well. We are ranked in the top 25 for the first time. At this point, we still have to take on Ball State. That's going to be a huge game. We lose by six. Oh my God, eight tackles. Oh, let's take a deeper look at this one. They were winning going into the fourth and we just couldn't come back. Didn't really run the ball well. Owen Roberts hit at 59 yards. Clyde Jefferson had 43 and a touchdown. Juan Hawkins had a touchdown with eight yards 75 yards for Joel Fogo and a touchdown allowed a sack from Moncrief defensively we did have 12 tackles from Danny LeBeau but when your cornerback is leading your team in tackles that's probably not gonna look even though we did have three sacks damn just didn't do well enough on defense that sucks because that lost to Central Michigan Cobana Kalue commits to Iowa which sucks and then Kane Pollock commits to Michigan so we're gonna take both those guys off our board that stings our final road game of the year is at Northern Illinois we absolutely have to win this one hopefully the CPU can take care of business on the road it would be a brutal loss to lose to the Huskies uh oh we take down NIU moved to number 22 in the country let's take a look at this game we absolutely annihilate northern illinois holy shit wow okay great bounce back game for us 66 yards on the ground for owen roberts with the touchdown 98 yards through the year with a touchdown for jt childress 78 yards and two touchdowns for alani teo joel folk only had one reception but it was a 59 yard bomb with a touchdown owen roberts 47 yards through the air and enrique rodriguez 34 yards through the air with a touchdown only allowed one sack love to see that defensively tackles were spread out everywhere but we did have two picks between bradley self and dom epps love to see that from our corners so just dom Dominated Northern Illinois. We love to see that. We're dealing with a litany of injuries going into our first bye. Josh Hack has a torn tricep. He's done for the season. Jimmy Nitschke still hasn't played this season. He's probably not going to. Um, we will be able to redshirt him. So he, he'll still be a junior going into next season, which would be nice. But DJ Bulaga has a dislocated ankle. He's out for three weeks. That'll be the end of the season. At least the end of the regular season. Ty Cavazos, he's out for five weeks with a broken wrist. So he's going to be out probably through the end of the regular season, if not into the bowl game and potentially if we made the playoffs. The playoffs. So that is tough. We've lost a lot on the front seven. At defensive tackle, we are fine. We do have a lot of defensive tackles here. Charles York, Brian Bloom, Tyree McCracken, Khalid Hills. We do have Jalen Bono playing some emergency defensive tackle from left end. But even so, I mean, we had to move right in Roderick Huber over to to left end to play there. Jalen Bono is here. We also have Brian Bloom playing emergency end, which just goes back to the other end spot, right? We have DJ Linder here. We have Jalen Bono, Ryder Huber. We're very thin at our front seven. We have three of our top guys out. And again, we're pretty loaded to free safety between Bradley Self, Warren Warmack, and then junior Leo Tracy. But not having Nitschke this entire season, that sucks. We get four-star right tackle Cameron Daniel. Just continuing to add to the team in the trenches. Love to see that. Even though we don't play a game, we move up to number 18, but our brand exposure drops to a C. I wonder how that happened. Zach Barnes commits to Oregon, so we're going to take him off our board. Taking on Ball State. This is a huge game. If we can win this, I think we clinch our spot on the Mac Conference Championship game. I think we, we have to have this one, boys. Got to. We get four-star right guard Nate Biggers. Did we win the game, though? We did. We moved to 9-2. and two. Our championship contender moves up to an A-plus for the number 15 team in the country. That was a huge win. Let's take a look at that game. Alani Teo, a terrific game. Seven receptions, 112 yards, two touchdowns. The MAC Offensive Player of the Week. We needed all of it. We get 10 more coaching points. Going to put this toward motivator. We get four-star right guard Brett Odom. Continuing to add to the class. We love to see that. We moved to number 10 in the country. Wow. We're taking on Ohio. If we win this, we win double-digit games in the regular season for the first time in a couple of years, and we clinch our spot as the home team in the MAC championship. We need to have this one. We lose to Ohio. We fall to nine and three. The number 16 team in the country. That is not a game we wanted to lose. We are going to take on Ohio again in the MAC championship. So we get a rematch against them. We got to have that one. Got to have that one. And with that loss to Ohio, John Babers commits to Wisconsin. So we're going to take him off the board. And even though we don't lose a game, our championship with falls to an A. It's kind of a bummer, but we win this. I think we actually make the playoffs. That would be a huge win for this program. Even though this is a chance to win a MAC championship, I'm going to sim this game. I think we're going to get revenge against Ohio. And if we win this, if I'm not mistaken, we'll actually make the college football playoff. One, two, seven. Oh no, we have to hope Old Dominion loses. If we win this and Old Dominion loses, we're going to make the playoffs. Got to take care of business though. And we take down Ohio. We win the MAC championship. Did we make the playoffs? Was it enough? It was. We're going to take on Notre Dame in the playoffs. Did we have a Heisman finalist? This is an important thing too. 
We did not. I'm surprised Greg Smythe didn't win the Heisman. He had a great season. I didn't take a look at some of these games down the stretch. Let's take a look at these Ohio games. We lost to Ohio by seven. They scored in the fourth. Wow. Yeah. Couldn't really run the ball. 39 yards on the ground for Owen Roberts. 28 and a touchdown for Clyde Jefferson. Receiving wise, Lonnie Teo in this loss had 133 yards and a touchdown. Did allow two sacks coming off. One from the center. That's tough. 10 tackles for Frank Sampson. Did have a pick for Bradley Self. But that's, you know, when you give up that many points, that's a tough one to win. But in the win against Ohio, 38 to 30, put up on an offensive clinic, played really well. 73 yards on the ground for Owen Roberts with a touchdown, 24 for Juan Hawkins, 16 for Clyde Jefferson, and seven and a touchdown for Alani Teo. 100 yards through the air with two touchdowns for JT Childress, Alani Teo, 80 yards. Joel Fajoko, 43, and then Enrique Rodriguez, 16 with a touchdown. Did allow two sacks again. Um, again, George Burr getting blown up up the middle. We don't like that. Only had one sack, Ty Cavajos. It's good to see he's back and healthy. We did have two picks, Danny LeBeau and Clayton Wake. That was the difference right there. Let's take a look at the bracket. We're the 12 seeds. Okay, so we snuck in. We're technically the 16th ranked team, but Old Dominion must have lost their game. Let's actually take a look at that. Old Dominion did lose. Arkansas State takes down Old Dominion, and that's the reason that we make the playoff. Shout out to Arkansas State, bro. Huge dubs for them. So because of that, we sneak in as a 12 seed. We're taking on Notre Dame. The one seed is Michigan. The two seed. NC State, three seeds Georgia, four seed is Arizona State. That's interesting. Uh, the five seeds Notre Dame, six seed is Tennessee, seven seeds Maryland, eight seed is Kansas State, nine seed is Stanford, ten seeds Auburn, eleven Oklahoma, twelve us. This is going to be a really tough run. Wow. Yeah. Notre Dame is not going to be an easy team to beat. Let's take a look at early national signing day here. I mean, we got a litany of guys, right? Stephen Bohannon, the strong safety, left outside linebackers, Juan Lamar and Dexter Ringo, strong safety, Quentin Warren, quarterback, Ben Boyett, tight end, Dexter Perryman, right tackles, Felix Beatty and Cameron Daniel, right guard, Nate Biggers, running back, Taylor Chapuka, right guard, Brett Odom, and right guard, Brett Odom. Still in the mix for a couple guys, but we signed a great class. And our staff did great. Conrad Shazier was a great offensive coordinator. Bart Meeks has continued to improve this defense. We're not changing anything. However, we got to take on Notre Dame. The first round of the playoffs against Notre Dame at Notre Dame. This is not going to be easy, folks. Probably the toughest game we haven't had to play yet. Going to start off on the ground. Box looks a little light. See if we can hit him with a quick draw. Get out of there, Roberts. There we go. Give me eight, seven. We'll take it. Got him. Got him. There we go. See if we can hit him with a little play action here. Got him. They, they leave the middle of the field open way too much. I love to target the middle of the field. Play action again. They're going to leave it open. Oh, stay on your feet, Enrique Rodriguez. All right, haven't done it much. Let's switch to the zone, put the ball back on the ground in the hand of Owen Roberts. Give me five. We'll take it. We'll take it. Five yards, bro? Easy. Owen Roberts has been a staple of this team. I'm going to switch to angle curls just because they're not, they're not guarding Teo. Got him. I got him. They weren't guarding anybody. That was so easy. Oh, my God, our defense. Our defense is cooking. Got it. First and goal at the one, Clyde Jefferson. Nice throw. I'm looking at Teo. If they're in man, I'm handing this off to Roberts. They're in man. Oh, yeah, that was there was nothing there. They read that really well. I think I'm going to hand this off to Norm Roberts no matter what, based on where the read man is. Yep. Norm Roberts! And we take a two touchdown lead. I can't slam my chest because I'm still sunburned as fuck, as you can tell, bro. Notre Dame came back and scored. We got to get something here on this drive. Got him. Got to hold on to it. Huge catch by Alani Teo. Teo, I need you to run the right route, big dog. Got him. Alani Teo. I can tell by the way they're lined up. This is so easy. I haven't really run the ball that much. I'm going to hit the counter here. Get up field. Get up field. Give me three. Give me four. Oh, and Roberts. Hasn't really run the ball too effectively. It's the playoffs. We're on the road. I'm bringing the Jet touch pass out. Let me see if I can hit him going to the wide side with Alani Teo. They're in zone too. This is excellent. Stay on your feet, Alani Teo! A two touchdown lead for the Western Michigan Broncos. And boys, there wasn't really much to show from this one. As you can see, we dominated this game, and especially in the first half. It was 35 to 14 going to the half. Just coasted from the rest there. We're going to the quarterfinals. I think we're going to take on Arizona State. Clyde Jefferson with a crazy game. 305, five touchdowns. Needed all of it to take down the Irish. Alani Teo was huge. As you can tell, he had a couple touchdowns. We dominated the Irish. I was shocked. I did not expect to beat this team the way we did. And with that, we are one step closer to winning a national championship guys i did not expect to win that game especially in the way we did we absolutely smoked notre dame and i'll tell you what our staff doesn't matter what happens the rest of the year they're safe we're not firing nobody i know i made a what could have been viewed as a questionable decision last year but 
We're in the playoffs. Alani Teo, eight receptions, 179 yards, three touchdowns. The Mac Offensive Player of the Week. Terrific game from Teo. We need all of it. We're going to take on Arizona State in the Cotton Bowl. This is going to be a fun one, boys. Taking on Arizona State. We're going to switch up the uniforms, boys. We're going to go with the away options, which is the brown pants, brown helmet. We're really excited to bust these out. Haven't done it yet. This is the Cotton Bowl, boys. This is the quarterfinals. If we're not ready to go, we're going to lose. And if you think I rebuilt this team eight years, I don't even know how many years it's been. I think it's been eight years at this point. To lose, you out of your goddamn mind. It's the playoffs. Alani Teo, Jet Touch Pass to the wide side. Gotta have it. And they're in zone this is excellent it's been moved back inside get out of there alani teo nice job gonna go inside zone to the wide side of the field Let's see if we can pick up this first down with owen roberts get out of there nice job nice six yard run We're gonna go jet touch pass back to the wide side here we go alani teo see if we can do it again they're in zone again and they blitzed oh wow i got eaten alive right there uh oh oh wait no oh wait what the fuck I thought he was running up. I thought he was running a, a post or a streak. Oh my God. He should have been running a streak. Why was he running a post? Damn. Okay. I'm on Samson here, boys. Gotta have it. There we go. Ugh, damn. Gonna sit in, man. I'm gonna bring some pressure here. I'm on Samson. Gotta get a stop. If we can hold him three. That'd be huge. Great job, defense. Read it like a book. Gonna bring some big pressure here. Dude, I read it. I read it. I couldn't get there with the D lineman. Oh my God. Dude, my. I. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Second and eight. Let's see if we can hand this ball off with Roberts. There we go. Give me five. Owen Roberts has ran the ball really well this game. We've gone inside zone a lot. I'm going back to the wide side of the field. If we can get some good blocks up front, I think we're going to get at least five yards out of this run. Oh, yeah, easily. Okay, that was a bad run by me. Glad I got a first down. Going to try a fake jet. They look like they're a man. I think this might work coming back to the inside with Hawkins. Give me a couple. We'll take five. One Hawkins, great run. Inside zone back to Roberts. Hawkins is hurting. Oh, huge. Get up field. Oh, third and inches on Roberts. Damn. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go! Third and six. Let's see if we can get a stop here. That would be huge. Oh, shit. He's wide open. Fumble! Let's go! Defense is everywhere! Here we go. If we can get a touchdown or even a field goal here, we can take a huge lead. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it! Go get it! Go get it, JT Childress! Let's go! Unfortunately for us, Arizona State scored right back. Blitz off the edge. Thank you for leaving Alani Tail wide open. Oh my God, Clyde Jefferson's played great so far. Oh, I couldn't even get the ball off, dude. Oh my God, that was my last time out. Shit, this might be risky. We're already across the 50 though. Oh my God, Dakota Vasher, let's go! That should not have gotten completed, by the way. That should have been a pick. Got it, let's go! How the fuck did they score so fast? Arizona State will not go away. We have to get a stop here. We're up by eight. Give me that! Give me that! Ball game! Here we go, Pope. And we're gonna take a two touchdown lead. Oh my god, Dexter Pope. A 42 yard pick six. Hit him with the, I don't even know what he's doing. Hitting him with the one, two step. See if we can confuse him with this motion. Great ball by Clyde Jefferson. Oh my God. What a dot. That ball had to be in the perfect spot. See if we can hit him with the fake jet and come back inside with Owen Roberts here. It's a foot race, Owen Roberts! He doesn't lose foot races! Technically, they're gonna get the ball if we don't get this first down. We're gonna milk this clock all the way down. There's no turnovers. No turnovers. Got it. Game over. Game over! We're going to the semis! I mean, technically, we need this onside kick to secure it, but the odds they get this back are like zero, so. In an absolute shootout, the Western Michigan Broncos take down Arizona State to advance to the semifinals. The 12 seed making a miracle run. Holy smokes. We needed all those points. That was actually a great game. Arizona State, they gave us all we could handle. Let's actually take a look at the playoff bracket now. We're not going to see who we play yet, but Kansas State stomps Stanford. Oklahoma up to Tennessee. Maryland sneaks by Auburn. So we're going to play Kansas State or Michigan? Let me tell you this. I know Michigan wants revenge for all the times we beat them. Clayton Snodgrass, three tackles. The MAC Defense Player of the Week against Arizona State. I'm sure he had more than that. Let's take a look at that in a second. Also, the National Defense Player of the Week. He must have had a couple of forced fumbles. Also, JT Childers, three receptions for 140 yards, three touchdowns. Every reception was a touchdown. That's unreal. Crazy game from Childress. And now we get Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl. I know damn well Michigan wants us. Six tackles, a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. My goodness, Clayton Snodgrass. And then obviously JT Childress. Crazy game. We needed it all. Take a look at the bracket. Obviously, we're taking on Michigan. Who is on the other side, though? It's Georgia and Maryland. Georgia obliterates Oklahoma. Maryland. Maryland upsets NC State. Michigan sneaks by Kansas State. This is going to be a hell of a semifinal game, boys. And we actually have to hire a staff member. We lost our defensive coordinator. If we don't win this year, we'll, let's see who we want. We have an offensive coordinator, but we could take Chad Hurley, the offensive coordinator from Florida State, and make him our defensive coordinator. Huh. 
I kind of like that. Florida State, I mean, although if you're watching this now, Florida State doesn't look like they have a good offense, but defensively, they're a great team. But the other team guy I'm looking at is Sean Bergstrom, the defensive coordinator from Southern Miss. He does run a base 4-3, he hit his pipeline from Iowa, but if I look at his talent tree, he's got an elite motivator and tactician talent tree. I think I'm going to offer Sean Bergstrom from Southern Miss. Regardless, we have a game to play. We got to take on Michigan. This is not going to be an easy game, boys. We haven't played Michigan this year. We played in the last couple of years, though. And we're going to go with the brown jersey, white helmets, and white pants. This is the Fiesta Bowl. This is for a chance to go to a national championship game. Also, Michigan, it'd be really fun to beat them. Third and two. Let's see if we can hit, hit him with an inside zone to Owen Roberts here. Give me the first. Oh, we just got it. Third and two again. See if we can go inside zone back the opposite side. Get some good blocks over. That'd be huge. Oh, excellent. Excellent blocks by offensive line. Excellent blocks. Got it. Owen Roberts. Owen Roberts puts the Western Michigan Broncos up 7 0. Third and five. Got to get a stop here. If we can get him off the field, that'd be huge. I'm on Branson. Oh my God. Great. I mean, we're playing the Heisman Trophy winner. Guys, this is not going to be easy. John DiPirio has gotten better and better every year. I'm on LeBeau flying over to my right. Dude, I knew it. I tried to get over there with LeBeau. Damn. Both offenses have stalled out a little bit. Let's flip this play. Gonna go jet touch pass to the wide side, third and two. Alani Taylor, I think they're in man. They're not, they're in zone. Okay, this should be huge. Oh, there we go. See if we can hit him with a little read option here. Give me a couple. We'll take three. Owen Roberts has 60 yards already in the first half. He is playing fantastic. Third and three, we gotta get something here. Got it. What a play. I did not even see that DB. Our defense made a huge play. Oh my God. Shout out to the defense. That's PI. That's gotta be PI. There's no way that's not PI. Also, that would've been an incredible credit. Yeah. In the end zone too, first and goal at the one. Let's see if we can hit him with a QB draw for Clyde Jefferson. I actually have never ran this play. Clyde Jefferson, let's go. Defense, we gotta get a stop here, please. Dude, oh my God. Michigan is marching. At the end of the day, if we can milk as much clock as we can, hit him with a draw here. Spin move. Oh my God. Nice job, Owen Roberts, bro. Holy. All right, here we go. We got to get something going. Got to get a first down here. Got him. Great job by the offensive line. Oh my God. That was perfect protection. We got to punch this in. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Teo, this is a touchdown. Let's go! Alani Teo wide open for a touchdown. Up by seven. Defense, we gotta get a stop here. Aman Amatova. Great job, defense. Oh my god, our defense is playing great. York is, oh my god, look at that injury. Jesus. Aman Briscoe. Oh my god, I got smoked by the play action. Great job by the defense to stay home, though. Besides me, I was gone. I, I, I don't even know what I just did there. Aman Branson here. Oh my God, it was a, what was that? Was that an RPO? Holy shit, that, I've never even seen that play before. That was incredible. There's a reason that guy is the highest winner, man. He's making plays. I'm on Samson. Come on, defense, hold strong. Great job, defense. I'm on Briscoe. Get out of bounds. Oh my God, he didn't get out of bounds. Fuck. Tie game, a field goal wins the game. All right, I'll be honest, got super lucky there. See if we can hit him with a quick draw here. No, I needed to get around 69. We just need a first down here. I have to go for this. I have to go for this. I have to go for this because at the end of the day, if I punt this ball, I'm not going to stop him. And I know that. They're in field goal range. I'm going to let them score. Whether it's a field goal or not, that's fine. I'm going to let them score a field goal. I have to. I have to let them get, I have to let them get a field goal. Now, they probably throw this ball. If they don't, they run. And if they run, that's fine. What the fuck was... Dude, that's so fucking stupid. That's actually so fucking stupid that that just happened. Like, that's so... Whatever, dude. We're taking this game to overtime. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? He just comes th through free? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nice speed burst. Let's go. JT Childress has been everywhere today. Got him. I need to score, but I need to make sure I don't score with too much time on the clock because I don't want to give them the ball back. Got him. Boys, I've been doing this rebuild for so long. I'm so sorry. I'm so ridiculously locked in. Like, I, I, I'm not even trying to commentate this game. I'm just trying to win. Got him. Touchdown. I might have given him too much time. Defense, I need to stop here. I trust you. I trust our defense. I trust our defense. I trust our defense. Nice job. I'm on self. This is a pass. I know it's a pass. 
HUGE SACK DEFENSE! How much time do we have left? Are we gonna have any time? Oh, we're not gonna get this ball back. It doesn't even matter. It literally doesn't even matter. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have called that timeout, actually. Because if they win this game because I was being greedy, I'm gonna be pissed off. That's fine. We're gonna go to overtime. We're okay with that. We're okay with that. A defense could not have done that better. We're gonna go Roberts to the wide side of the field. Wait a minute, why is it like this? Wait, what the fuck? Is this what playoff overtime is like? I've never actually gone to the overtime in the playoffs. Dude, is it the other 40? Holy shit, I was not ready for this. Great, give me the first. Gonna go jet touch pass to the wide side of the field. I need some great blocks on the edge by Childress from Rodriguez. Oh, there, man, this isn't good. Great job, I'm out of here. Alani Teo, excellent job. Got him. Get a field, Enrique Rodriguez. Get a field, Enrique Rodriguez! When in doubt, touch pass it out. Lonnie Teo to the wide side, boys. We need it. We need some great kickout blocks. They're in zone two. Give me that! Oh my god, what the fuck? Defense, we need a stop. No! What is the linebacker doing? What was that? Okay, we just need no turnovers. No turnovers. We just need a field goal. What a ball by! Oh my god, Clyde Jefferson. Owen Roberts. Give me a couple. Give me three. Give me two. We'll take it. Owen Roberts, I'm relying on you to take us home. I got I got one. Okay. No turnovers. No turnovers. <sighs> Touchdown. Touchdown in Western Michigan! Takes down Michigan! Holy shit. One win away. 350. Seven fucking touchdowns. A crazy game from Clyde. Oh my god. We have had some crazy playoff games in this run. And we are one win away from a national championship with the Western Michigan Broncos. A Maction champion. Holy shit, folks. Dennis Linder, two sacks, three tackles, two TFLs. A legendary game from Linder. The Mac Defensive Player of the Week against Michigan. I wonder if he is the National Player of the Week as well. He is. We'd love to see that. Alani Teo. I'm surprised Alani Teo was the, Nash, was the Mac Defensive Player of the Week. Nine receptions, 98 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, come on. We had some great performances on both sides of the ball, and we're going to take on Maryland. Ooh, I expected to play Georgia, but Maryland, okay, that'll be fun. We bring in Sean Burks, the defensive coordinator from Southern Miss. So if we don't win this, we're going to have him. Let's take a look at the players of the week. Wow. I mean, I just can't believe we won that game. That was, whew, that was an incredible game, boys. Like an incredible game. Let's take a look at the bracket. We take out of Maryland. They took down Georgia. They actually upset Georgia. Maryland versus Western Michigan. This is the weirdest national championship game ever. But hey, this is what we made it for. This is what we play for. Let's take care of business. The national championship game, Western Michigan. Almost 15 years after they went undefeated with a chance to capture a national championship game against the Maryland Terrapins at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. This is as close to Ford Field as you're going to get. This is a, a Maxion championship, folks. We got to have this one. Start the ball off on the ground. Let's set the tone here, boys. Oh, huge. Oh, and Roberts, what a run. Let's go Alani Teo to the wide side. If we can get a block on that outside man. We're in a great spot. Oh, golly. I ran that a little weird. Got a first down, though. Got him. Alani Teo, man, he is everywhere. Let's put the ball back in the hands of Owen Roberts here. He has been a workhorse for us. He's a stud. Give me. Get off me, little boy. Get off of me. Owen Roberts. See if we can counter give Owen Roberts the first touchdown. I don't even know where I was supposed to go with that, but I didn't go anywhere. We got to get some better blocks up front here, boys. Give it to me, Owen Roberts! Got to get a stop here. Maryland is marching. Got to bring some heat here. Give me two! <gasps> Dude, can we fucking do anything on offense? They have, they're up, oh my God, this is fucking, this is ridiculous, dude! Got him. I look for Dakota Vasher on that set every time, and he is almost automatic. It's unbelievable how ridiculously hard this fucking national championship game is, bro. Holy shit, he got that in there. Wow, that was a bad ball by me. Gotta have it! Ten seconds left. We gotta, we gotta hold. They're gonna get their field goal out of it. That's fine. Please, just give me a chance to score. Dude, can I just get the fuck... Dude, CPU. Down by six. Oh, my God. I'm on Samson. I just want a chance to score. I, I want a chance to have the like to play. I'm on Branson. We gotta get a stop. We gotta hold him to three. Dude, that's so crazy, bro. Like that's just. <sighs> I'm on Briscoe. Gotta get a stop. Come on, defense. Dude, get the fuck out of here, you ugly fucking bitch. Third and four. Got We're gonna try to draw. Down by two touchdowns. We gotta score here. Nice job, Owen Roberts. Clyde Jefferson with three fucking picks. You wanna know why we're losing this fucking game, bro? Lock in. Dude, get the fuck out of here. How is he just running? F I have all three timeouts. Okay, excellent. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, where am I supposed to look? Dude, I'm... Oh, my 
I recover two man, which means this is it. This one of those is my read. Got him. Great job. If they're just gonna sit and cover two man, then I just have to keep doing this. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm on self. Great job. Got to get the ball back with a minute 30 to go. We got to have this. Here we go. We got to get a big farmer's turn here. Dude, can we get some fucking blocks? Like, what the fuck are we doing, bro? No timeouts. I need a touchdown to tie the game. Oh, they're in. They're in zero. What are they doing? What are they doing? JT Childress. And we're going to tie it. Why were they in zero? They can't get a field goal, though. We need a stop defense. I'm on Samson. No points. <sighs> Keep him in front of you. Going to bring heat. I'm on LeBeau. Just kidding. I'm on Samson. <sighs> Dude! They're already in field goal range. I fucking knew it. I literally knew it. I knew what they were gonna, do, gonna throw. They're not in field goal range. I'm on Amatova. They're close though. <sighs> Give me that! Give me that! You fool! A field goal wins the natty. <sighs> I, I had to let it go. Fuck it, I, I went for it. I think Dakota Vasher's gonna be... Yep. No, Dakota Vasher! In overtime, third and seven. We gotta get a stop. We went to overtime. Holy shit, I can't believe we went to overtime. Dude, what the fuck was- On Branson, I'm gonna have a fucking stroke, dude. Golly, bro, I gotta do everything. We have to hold him to a field goal. We have to hold him to a field goal. Great job, defense! I'm on Rochelle, there's no way this is a run. Oh my god, it's a run. Oh my god. I can't, we, that was an incredible play. They can have their field goal, bro. They can have it. If we fucking rough this kicker, I'm destroying this Xbox. What just happened? I get the ball, don't I? Wait, what? I guess I get the ball. We'll take it. I don't really understand what just happened, but I believe if we score a touchdown here, we win the National Championship. Got him. Alani Teo, first and 10. Owen Roberts, there's a gap for you, big dog. We need you to hit it. Dude, how does he come from the backside? Got him. Got him. Got him! We just won! Western Michigan just won a national championship! Holy shit! Oh my god, we finally did it with Western Michigan. Holy shit. Crazy game from Clyde. 376, five touchdowns. Oh my god. I cannot believe we came back and won that game. Holy shit. Clyde Jefferson, JT Childress, and the rest of the Western Michigan Broncos. Holy shit, boys. We finally did it. Unfortunately for me, I only completed two of my goals. I won a max championship, won a national championship. Didn't have a winning record versus our rivals. Didn't have a top 10 recruiting class. And didn't have a Heisman finalist. So one of you guys is going to win a jersey. Make sure to comment your Instagram down below. And uh, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.